Lord Shagatron, I have returned. What'd you do, bitch? I have found something more powerful than that of the art spot. Like, like basketball, some barbecue chicken, post up in the post, you know? Give him a little booty, throw him a little bow, get that layup. No, 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 none of that. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it's what we, it's what I hear the earthlings call a podcast. What the fuck is a podcast? Well, it's a bunch of people, they just talk for a while and they just listen to it. Sounds like some bullshit. It kind of is, but but it's entertaining. We should listen to one. I found a special one. Ah. What's it? What's it called? It's called Movie Man Talks. Oh, barbecue chicken. What? Is it called Barbecue Chicken? Well, we can we can probably find one that's called Barbecue Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so let's sit down and what and listen to Movie Man Talks. Movie Man Productions, let's do it. You're like Movie Man Productions. Let's go and do it. <laughs> like he never said that at all. I well, he was like Moving Man. I think it'll be. Yeah, fine. it'll be it'll fine. Be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. <laughs> what do you guys think of our incredibly <laughs> impromptu intro? <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Anthony Fraser from Movie Man Productions, and today we got another episode. Uh, today, as usual, I'm I am joined by my two co-hosts. Hello, my name is Ethan Vargas. What's up, everybody? I'm Nathan Hairston. <laughs> he said, what up, everybody? <laughs> I'm Nathan. <laughs> what? <laughs> 50! <laughs> <laughs> Roll to that! <laughs> I'm down, 50! Gang, gang! I'm going into gangster mode! Gang, gang! <laughs> This is so. That was the thing. That was, a, that was so the thing yeah. in that game. This gangsta like, mode. Yeah, yeah gangsta I remember gangsta mode. Like all slow motion. Like he's like, and then he would like cut. He would like cut <laughs> unbelievably. He's like, man, fuck. <laughs> he just be smowing people down. Man, uh, what's wrong with what I said? I just introduced myself. No, uh, I guess I guess it sounded. <laughs> <laughs> was I super thug about it? I don't know. I just, up, it just sounded this funny. This is me, Nate the Hairston. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got to do a dope intro like that. <laughs> Oh my god. Ethan, gosh. let's hear your dope intro. Gotta go in gangster mode. I gotta go gangster? Yeah, yeah. gotta go gangster mode. Hi guys. My name Press is the G button. <laughs> <laughs> the G button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on a minute, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna take me out to dinner first? <laughs> I don't I don't like that at all. Oh wow. Oh, all right. Uh <laughs> kombucha. Other known as booty, like water. booty water. Yeah. Ethan, come on! You gotta, you gotta do your gangster. No, I, I don't know. I, I, I know. You gotta release, release the inner gangster out of yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get That's angry. You gotta get angry. I can't get. I'm not angry. I'm not an angry person though. <laughs> that is true. Ethan's not angry. Yeah, man. Peace, love, positivity. I'm logic. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, uh, sorry for banging that bottle. <laughs> That's fine. It's loose. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Smashes it, on the wall. smashes it on the wall. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I can't say it anymore. I was going to say it. <laughs> I mean, you've already, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we keep, can you censor that? Oh, I, I, beep. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you kept doing it the last time. I'm, I'm, I'm like, editing I this still time. So it out. It, so, I, I mean, it it's all up to him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. I may have yeah. To. <laughs> no, you're definitely gonna have to. Like, you're gonna have to <laughs> twice. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you're just gonna have to uh, just get just the end in there and be like, N-uh! yeah. <laughs> you could actually do that, probably. Oh yeah, I could. Yeah, for sure. It'll be easy. <sighs> so, guys, uh, how, how you guys been doing? I know we've all we've all had some really busy, busy, busy weeks. Yep. Yeah, man. So, uh, <clears throat> so what's been going on? Ethan, go ahead. You go first. Um, no, I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> no, you go first. I'll go first. No, fuck you guys. Jack, <laughs> Jack, where are you? We'll all go first. <laughs> Get him, fifty. <laughs> um, no, I've uh, I've been I've been good, man. I just really busy, you know, being in school. It's like in towards the end of the semester, yeah, so there's yeah. just a lot of, you know. When do you guys get out? I'm um, beginning of May sometime. Yeah. Honestly, I I couldn't tell you, but 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 between that, <laughs> gangster. Uh, but between that and like shows and just like just a lot happening, so didn't you just have a show at Soul C- Cities? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, one of the groups I'm in called Multiphonic Funk. We did a show at Soul City. Uh, uh, this past Saturday, 
Um, and it went pretty well. Unfor- it was kind of cold. Like, the weather was supposed to be kind of nice. Oh, it was outside. Yeah, and, like, it, it um, there was no rain in the forecast, but, it, like, the temperature just dropped, and it got really windy. Mm-hmm. And so, like, we all of our shit was blowing all over the place, and it was just kind of, like, it was kind of crazy. So, um, but other than that, it went really well. And, uh, right on. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing good. That's awesome. Yeah, man. What about you, Ethan? What are you up to? I've been doing really well, man. I I started a new <coughs> diet. Well, not a diet, but I'm I'm trying to eat more healthy. Meal plan. Now meal plan. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was gonna say you don't need to diet. You're yeah, like I, so I don't small. need to diet. I know, that's what I was saying. Um, I was like, it's like I need to diet. <laughs> yeah, <I> no. <know. laughs> but I've been doing two things. I bought myself some weights. Some barbecue chicken. Yeah, some barbecue chicken. <laughs> Actually, I did buy some shredded like meat. Hey, um, yeah. yeah, so yeah. I could put some barbecue yeah, on there. Pro- protein up. Yeah, oh, that's man. what's up. Uh, and so, but I've been <coughs> hating it like so much. I mean, I feel a lot better than mm-hmm. I have been like in a couple of yeah. weeks. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's really been smoothies and tilapia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I've been dying mm-hmm. uh, inside. Um, but other than that, it's been going really well. Um, Man, I've been working. I wish well. I had the perseverance to get through that. This past summer, oh, it's only been two days. Like th- <laughs> two no, three like days. okay. So this past summer, <laughs> I was like. So great. I was going to the gym every day in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I was losing some weight. I was looking mm-hmm. real good. And I was eating better. And I felt a lot better. And yeah. my sleep got a lot better. Mm-hmm. I, it was like everything kind of like started regulating itself. And then school started and just threw all yeah. that shit out the window. Yeah. And that I was happens, just like, yeah. That's what I was like a month ago. Because, Awful. Yeah, because I was, I was trying to get better at myself. And, I, you know, I started going to the gym and all that. But then yeah. they're like, hey, Anthony, can you start working on your days off now? Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> Well, two of the things that I actually right, snarf snarf, snarf snarf. This is so bad. Fifty. But, <laughs> <laughs> but some of the things that I've actually been doing is that I bought some weights. I'm actually mm-hmm. uh, looking to invest in a, uh, a cycling bike that I can have at the oh, house. Oh, right on. Oh, yeah. So that, oh, I love. While those. I'm just like mm-hmm. at the, like watching TV, I can just bring stationary it in. Yeah, stationary bike. Yeah, stationary bike, and yeah. just use that because I'm like, That's you know, I'm just mode. sitting there. Do you have yeah. an actual bike? Like a regular bike? I used to. I sold it. Um, mm. oh, but no, yeah, I know. They have they those have things like you can like take off the back wheel on. and you can like uh-huh. clip it in there. Yeah. And right. And I was thinking about doing that, but I was like, when, when am I going to use that bike? Like actually. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I don't go anywhere. I mean, I mean, in, in the car, summertime, so. it, it gets to be nice. People, like I yeah. like, I still have my old longboard from high school. Right, and right. I go out there on Riverside and stuff. It's oh, fun. dude, it's nice yeah. out there. I want to get yeah. a boosted board at some point. We were talking about With the motors on them? Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, and then I can so Casey tight. Neistat it. Yeah. You know? yeah, I found one that's like cheaper and faster. Uh, oh, really? I, was it called, like, but I feel like it pro? takes part of the fun out of it. What, being a boosted and that well, one? I mean, because like part of the fun of longboarding is like yeah, pushing and like, you know, you get going. And I don't want to. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. No. If I had a motorized skateboard, I'd be going around everywhere with that. Yeah. <laughs> just like all over Riverside, just like. Yeah, and you can <laughs> still use it as that. I mean, it kind of will. I don't think that it messes up the motor in it. I think once it turns off mm-hmm. and, like, let's say your battery's dead, mm-hmm. you can use it as just a regular. Stuff. What's the battery life on those things? Battery oh. life's pretty good. It's, yeah. like, like 10 hours or something. 10 hours, 10 yeah. hours? Yeah. So just, like, 10 hours in one day, just... <laughs> well, it, it <laughs> depends. All around downtown. Like Albuquerque. <laughs> I think it really depends on uh, how much Go on the highway. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, it's, like, zooming around. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I do know in the newest version, the trick they, is that uh, you're going actually 60 miles an hour, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. No, those things go fast, like <laughs> aerodynamic. Like <laughs> you're one of those crazy like speed helmets. <laughs> yeah. Like for get luge the, or whatever. Those helmets yeah, that yeah. have like little mohawks on them. Oh know? wow. Uh, you get one of those at Toys R Us. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Uh, if you ain't no, get a Sonic last. helmet. Oh my God! Just oh my God! Sonic. Speaking Sanic. of Sonic, yeah, yeah. Garrett, did Garrett tell you about his new car? Oh my God, no! He got a he's got a he got a Chevy Sonic. <laughs> he made is a it big, blue. He, he didn't. He wouldn't tell me the color. So I, I think it is. Blue. I think it is blue. <laughs> I mean, so I'm baby excited blue. to see it. That'd be amazing. Shout out to Garrett Schwag, uh, my boy. Schwag job. Oh man. So Ethan's been eating better. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to at least, and working out a little bit. There you go. That's good, uh, man. I need to get yeah. back on that, man. I, yeah. I'm really you know, hoping this summer I can like finally like <laughs> right not be yeah. a lazy piece of <laughs> shit and like make myself well, do it. The thing was, my issue was that I was working like five, seven days a week. Yeah. And then I would, I would like come home and I'm just like tired. <coughs> and yeah, like, yeah. Why yeah. is this? Exactly. And then sometimes like even like a couple of times I was like. Am I gonna have a heart attack? Because I feel kind of like, yeah. like I felt like that weak, in my lightheaded. Like, yeah, and also just yeah. like my chest hurt, oh, like wow. a lot. And I was That's like, not good. I yeah. went to my doctor and checked it out. It's just air, like just oh. air gets stuck in there sometimes. 
Um, well, you got to watch that. I had, a, yeah. I had a buddy of mine recently. Well, I have high blood pressure. A lot. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yeah. I, ever since I was like 17, really? I went to the doctor and they were like, you were, you were like a 30 year old man. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to check that regularly. But, um, so yeah, but I've been trying to like be healthier and all that stuff. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. I feel that doing it with a partner, like I used to do it with my stepdad. Yeah, we would go work out. Mm-hmm. That really helped me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. That's what, that's that. what I feel like I might need. Cause like first couple of weeks is rough. You don't have yeah. to go with. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, keep you I, accountable to go. Exactly. And wake up in the morning. And because when I was talking to my personal trainer, cause he's like, you know, all you really need to do is just go twice a week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For at least what I'm trying to do. Right. And I, I, I still can't do that. And. And I like my gym. Mm. Yeah, you cool still there. pay for it too, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I just, I'm just too tired and I don't feel like going. And well, I, I got to break there. myself of that. Yeah, know? but once you get there, it's like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, I can do this. Yeah, yeah. Really? Like it, it, takes like, and, it takes yeah. like a week and a half to two weeks to set up a habit. Yeah. Yeah. So if you can well, it just. Takes like, 21 times, right? Like you have to do it consecutively. Right. Times, well, but I think like just even the action of like, okay, for every day, two weeks, I'm going to wake up. Yeah. Like six thirty or something like that. I'm gonna uh-huh. go to the gym. I'm gonna like do all my stuff, and if that happens, like after a week or so, you'll find that like naturally you start waking up at six thirty. Yeah, uh-huh. you'll like really start to get a rhythm of everything. Right, and everything starts to actually work out, and then it's it's easier, and then you can like go by yourself because there was a time I was going with a buddy of mine for like every day, and then um, some days like he couldn't go or I couldn't go, and we would just go by ourselves. So and then it, yeah. it ended up being a lot easier. Yeah. Well, also and like even for me like. I am not a very, like, <laughs> at least with exercise, I'm like, I don't want to do it. You know, obviously. Yeah. Um, it's so, so much easier to just be like, nah. Hit like, the yeah. Button like, and I actually, there. I went with a couple of my friends to Walmart, and we were buying stuff, or buying uh, the equipment. And right. he was like, why are you buying all that? I'm like, I'm not going to get out of my house and do it. Like, no, I know yeah. that. So I just mm. leave it, like, where I usually am, like, in the oh, living yeah. room or something. And then I just pick it up regularly mm-hmm. while I'm in there. So I think yeah. maybe that might be your case uh what you need to do at the beginning but that's my that's the reason why i got a gym i know membership was because but I, you have to go there this is just like well, something that that's my thing though because like if i i know <laughs> that's my thing oh because it's kind of <laughs> yeah. like with homework for me because like right. when i go home i don't want to do my homework exactly right and then when i'm home i don't want to work out so i gotta right. make myself go out and that's and when i get there i'm like okay i'm you know i'm 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 into this, yeah. right? But you're well, not going to get yourself out there. That's the issue. But yeah, yeah. But I know I won't do it inside because because I have like a certain like. I understand that. Like I used I used the school's gym. Yeah, my school's yeah. gym. So and and I live nowhere near here. Yeah. Oh, so really? like yeah, I I live like way out on 71st and Lewis. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So like yeah. that's like 15 minute commute, but even though like that blows, you know that that sucks. Like I still do it just because like I know that if I had stuff at home. I know, my, like personally, I just be like, "Nah, fuck it," and not do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I, I, I get that. Yeah. You know, I, I guess I don't. <laughs> I mean, I if you, if, if you yeah. have the, if you're you not have, gangster mode. Well, no, it, I will say this: that <laughs> fifty. <laughs> this has been like a really rough week for me because I'm yeah. like, I cut out everything. I haven't oh, been wow. going like I love Arby's. Did you cut out I, bacon? I cut out bacon. I cut out. Um, That's wrong. I cut out soda. Okay. Uh, which I, 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 I drink a lot of soda. And I think that that's where I'm like, oh, that's where I got my pouch. Like, hey, yeah, okay. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, go ahead. But like always, no, <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, okay. okay so Damn. since you love soda so much, yeah, have you ever tried those fl- the carbonated flavored waters? Yeah, I hate those. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, that's why I've been doing the Lacroix. No, that's the nasty. stuff. I like that stuff. Honestly, I, I really am not a huge fan of Lacroix, but the you coconut, like coconut one, one actually is not that bad. Yeah, I got that one. At, uh, it's a lot more tolerable. Uh, see, I like the coconut and I like the lime. Because the lime just tastes there's, like... There's one that's like orange that actually tastes like... Oh, I have that one. I it's have that awful. One. Yeah. It's yeah. awful. My mom likes it for some reason. I don't want it. <laughs> that's yeah. some garbage right there. This one, ha- the coconut one, it tastes like regular water until like after you drink all of it. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, there's that coconut You get like a little vibe. blast of yeah, coconut. <laughs> I, was like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Huh. But, yeah. What about so. you, man? How, how, are you, how have you been? I've been doing all right. Just saw... Uh, Working, teacher stuff, tired of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, I feel you. You know, because I, oh man, I've been working like it's literally been like a month and a half, and I've only been having like one day off. In case y'all forgot, he works um, in in the news industry. Yeah, news never. So sleeps. he's been covering all this crazy stuff with all the teachers. I'm sure it's. I mean, my mom's a teacher, and I support that. But I, 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 it's rough to hear about every day. Yeah, it is. It is. 
Yeah, but I mean, I've been trying to like keep myself active, well, my mind active, because I mean, we do all this crazy stuff. It kind of mm-hmm. it really it really like wears on you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like so yeah. what I've been doing is uh, I've always had a deep love for skateboarding. Uh, so okay. What? I don't understand how to do. That. Anyway, oh. <laughs> skateboarding. Yeah, I always had like a deep love for skateboarding, but I can never like land a trick. Skate three was the jam, dude. It was. Still I always like that they had Earl from my uh, yeah uh, yeah. I was coach. Uh, co- 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 I think his name was Coach Earl. <laughs> <laughs> no, like yeah, I, I always just remember he tried to do like the flip. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So then, so I mean, I'm trying to teach myself how to skateboard now. Yeah, I mean, I've been skateboarding since I, I was your a skateboard kid. right there. Yeah, it's in the corner of the room. Walmart board. But I made a custom skateboard that I might unveil mm-hmm. here soon. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what it it's is. Really it's really cool. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. Who knows? I might you know might do a little series. You know, that'd be cool. Kind of like a road to like a giveaway. Yeah. The there road. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I don't know about a giveaway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, you'll never know. Yeah, I might do one. That's interesting. But yeah, I might yeah, do like a little be road cool to if we did like a giveaway thing. Yeah. yeah, like a like a like a gift card to go see some movies or something. Hey. I mean, yeah. the name of our uh, podcast is Movie Man Talk. Oh, that's what it's called. But skateboards. Oh. No, okay. Skate. Movie <laughs> Movie Man skates. Oh, we're gonna have so many different podcasts for different topics. I know, just skateboards, hats. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my merch. <laughs> Buy my movie merch. man merch. Gang, gang, low gang. <laughs> oh. But yeah, so I'm gonna screw that guy. <laughs> no, he, he, what a dick. Yeah. What a douche. No, he's not a dick. He's a chode. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> How's that gross? It's the same damn thing. You know what? We 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 had it. it sounds we, gross. We had it. <laughs> we had it in one place. And you just took it to a whole other place. I do that, man. Mm. That's just nasty. That is nasty. You know who else is an absolute fuck? <laughs> Are you calling me that? <laughs> you know no. who else fucking <laughs> sucks who has a blue hat on right now? <laughs> man, I wonder. <laughs> where? 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 <laughs> You know who is like the fucking worst? Who's wearing a gray shirt and has black headphones on and a blue hat? Wait, and wait, his name is wait, Ethan. Wait, wait, wait what? Wait, what? <laughs> no, I don't. Have, I don't know who that guy is, but I have a black shirt on. Oh my god! Hey. Wait, you taking your fucking shirt off now? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So I don't know. We might do a little. I don't know. <laughs> Think about doing a little series, just like like my road to at least Ollie. Because I mean, man, like who's Ollie? <laughs> what? <laughs> like Ollie Williams? It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It. Yeah. It rains sideways. <laughs> yeah, he's the same dude that does uh, Green Lantern Green and Lantern. Static Shock. Static yeah, Shock. Well, was that Lamar? Lamar? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and the Jamaican. Phil Lamar. Phil Lamar, yeah. Yeah, and then he does Samurai, Samurai Jack. Jack yeah. The Jamaican guy from Futurama. Uh, yeah. I think we went over this last episode. We no, did. I think a couple yeah. of episodes we did. ago. I watched a video about it. That's why I yeah. brought it Phil up Lamar. specifically. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh, okay. I know I always brag about the iPhone's camera. Mm-hmm. But tell me why. Okay. Tell me why. I'm going to use. Okay. So I brought my gimbal. The fuck? It's not gangster mode. Uh, yeah, it's in sync mode. <laughs> tell me why, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but like, so. Okay, so I brought my gimbal one day to work and I was shooting a package with my like, camera. Your gimbal? <laughs> my gimbal. <laughs> is it a gimbal or okay. gimbal? It's a gimbal. This, this may sound stupid. I really don't know what a gimbal is. It's like a little. It's a, it's like uh, a iPhone uh, Oh, it's okay. stabilizer. So you're not like moving all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so cool. then I'm like, you know, I'm gonna try something out because I did the shot to where like, yeah, just throwing all over the place. So like, I did it's so the, smooth, <laughs> man. So I did this shot to where like I had my iPhone, and okay, uh-huh. so then I used my gimbal. I zoomed out and then panned over. To my reporter, the guy who's interviewing, mm-hmm. and I put that in my package, and then they're like, "I came back to the station, like, oh, they're like, oh my god, how the fuck did you get that shot? That was great." And I was like, "Oh, and because <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you wouldn't know you how have the shot." Uh, freak, I don't think I do. I'd have to look it up. I would love to see it. Yeah. Um, if Anthony you guys, Frazier, if you guys amazing film that. shot. But no, man, it's like. If I can literally use my phone for just a freaking well, you story, could. yeah, like that's insane. Yeah. That is so crazy. It like blows my mind. Yeah, yeah. That's there's awesome. there's like a weird like connotation that you need to have like all this crazy expensive mm-hmm. high tech equipment mm-hmm. to like yeah. do great things. Yeah, and you don't. Yeah, yeah. It's you, you can do a lot of cool you know stuff. What? With <laughs> <laughs> you know, fuck these mics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're we'll, done. We'll just talk with our phones. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that, actually, that would be an interesting podcast. <laughs> actually, there actually, is an I, app I, that does that. I I did do a podcast once, and we was were, that on Anchor. 
No. Okay. We just recorded it on like the voice memos on an yeah. iPhone, and it turned out really good. Yeah. Like really good. It's interesting. We didn't have to change. You anything. wouldn't even think that you could use your phone, but you no. can. And that's that's what Movie Man talks and productions is about. Everything yeah. that that Movie use Man production, everything that Movie Man Productions does is actually on an iPhone. Yeah. You know, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of going, wanting to go in that direction, but I'm, I'm like, I'm definitely, it's because it's just it's a big adjustment. It's just like it's so, I like, I'm so baffled by like the equipment that we have nowadays. Like you, you literally have a freaking camera in your pocket at yeah. all yeah. times. Not to mention, basically, like a computer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, a super computer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but um, it's, yeah. So basically. I mean, if I could get away yeah, with something sure. like that, and like. I was almost about to like fill my whole package with just my iPhone <laughs> to see if anyone would find it out. Yeah, and they wouldn't have. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Never mind. You know, a package, oh, a package I got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A, okay. For all you that don't know, news a package. package you know what? Like it's just, honestly, it was just me being really immature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 you were school. like, yeah, I'm gonna fill my whole package with my iPhone. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gangsta gonna, mode. I'm gonna film my whole package <laughs> with an iPhone. It's no big deal. Yeah, it's no big deal. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you tell me not to bang on the table? And now you're banging all over the goddamn man. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> one time. One time. <laughs> I get one bang. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Yeah, I didn't want to be a nuisance. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm the so new kid moving in, getting it. So yeah, guys, that's you know, so that's kind of been my thing. I mean, I just I'm just right like on. I'm still trying to find it. So <laughs> so bear with me. But yeah. anyways, um, so what have you guys been watching? Re- what have you guys been watching recently? Mm. <laughs> so to be honest, define watch. To be honest, I I haven't been able to watch stuff, so I've been catching up. And even though some people have some criticisms about where it's been going in the last couple seasons. Um, and now it's like kind of cheesy and stuff. But I, I've always really enjoyed Family Guy. Yeah, dude. Didn't, and they, ha- didn't they have that uh, World of Warcraft episode? Uh, not yet. It's coming. They're, they're working on it. Yeah. It's coming. <laughs> but, um, it's like winter. Yeah. But like I'm, I, I've been catching up on some of the episodes. Yeah. Um, and I just I love that show, man. Yeah, it's a really good show. Like Even though that's brilliant. like... It's stupid, but it's hilarious. I mean, it's just like you know pure I mean? dumb yeah. humor, but it's just, it's so good. I met somebody, I can't remember where, but they were like, uh, we were talking about Family Guy, and they were like, you watch Family Guy? I'm like, yeah, I do. Get mm. over it. Like, it's not, I understand that well, it's there was super that, there stupid. There was that whole, like, Family Guy versus South Park thing. Yeah, oh, the oh cartoon wars? Yeah, it's so dumb. No, I think that that's awesome. Uh, having like I mean both both of those shows are fantastic. Right. So, so I would fun. love to see like more integration with other like yeah. other cartoons like Bob's yeah. Burgers and um let's see Bob's Burgers well, and they did Archer. That bo- like but they yeah, did that actually Bob's they did Burger that Archer yeah. thing, yeah. Like that was amazing. That was really good. Um I really liked that. Absolutely love that. No, one. But that and then Isn't that the same voice actor? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. H. John Benjamin. Yes. Yeah. He's also um, a Masters of None. Yeah. I'm re watching that. Just re watched it a little um, bit. What else have I been watching? I know everyone hates it, but I really like the show Gotham. Yeah, I really do. I've, I I still have an, an episode to catch up on with uh, with that. Um, and then I, other than that, really, I just haven't had the time. Mm. Really, I, I need I need some more stuff to watch that isn't like. Have you watched The Office or Friends? I don't I don't care about Friends. Friends is not that great. <laughs> Parks and Rec. No, okay. I've seen it's all, the same no, thing. No, I, same I love thing. Parks and Rec yeah. and, and, and The Office. Uh, I've right. seen all of them uh, t- multiple times. What's but there's this one Netflix original that I've actually been watching at the house and it's uh, Stranger Things. That's no, new. it's it's good, but um, no, not that one. It's like called On the Block. Oh, mm. that new one. Yeah. Oh, how is that? It's not that bad. I mean, it's different. I don't think you'll like it because you didn't like that one. Everything sucks. Yeah, everything which sucks. Which they canceled that. Which I'm oh, they did. About. Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So they kind of like left it at a cliffhanger. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like that, but it's very strong. I think in their writing. If it was okay, if it was stronger <laughs> in the writing, then I'll probably yeah. like it. Because I like the whole, I like the whole thing. Like it was yeah. '90s and all that, but I just, yeah. it just, I don't know. It this one's work. kind of more of like, uh, just like Los Angeles or not Los Angeles, but uh, Sacramento. No, one of the places. I don't know. Um, San Diego. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, and it's based on four kids. Yeah. 
four kids, two Hispanics, mm-hmm. um, and two black people, uh, children. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, two blacks. <laughs> two blacks. Two black, um, two furious. And then uh, one of them is in a gang, and they try to get him out of the gang. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought yeah. I saw. Dude. I'm not going to say any more about it, but it's really good. Like, what? Yeah. You left me in suspense. I then. know, right? Dude, that's Did you guys ever read the series of Unfortunate Events? Yeah. Did you watch the Netflix? Yeah, did you watch the first season? I didn't watch any of those. I heard it wasn't that good. Was it Was it good? To be honest, like... It's, it's better than Jim Carrey, at least. Nickelodeon. Here's the th- I just I love Jim Carrey so much. I can't I can't I can't rag on that dude. I didn't like that movie though. That he did. Yeah. Well, because here's the thing: Jim Carrey has like a certain kind of energy. Yeah. That like is is well suited in some places, but not in the others. Right. And Neil Patrick Harris is a lot more threatening, it, yeah. which Count Olaf should be, as opposed to like that manic energy that uh, Jim Carrey brings. Yeah, it, but you also have to think. That one's a Netflix original, so they yeah. can, they have that opening yeah. to where they can do stuff like Honestly, that. Honestly, I, I watched Nickelodeon the first season that. of um, a season of Unfortunate Events, and Neil Patrick Harris does a wonderful job. I mean, That's it's good. still it's still funny and it's very true to the books, mm-hmm. right? Um, but I I mean I thought it held up really well. That's good. Uh, I I flew through that season. I thought it was really great. Nice. So how are they breaking up the seasons? Is it each book? A you know, season? honestly, I, I've been trying to figure that out myself. I haven't. I haven't honestly even seen one of those books in forever because, like, those I were coming some. out when, like, we were in elementary school. Right, yeah. So, like, th- which was a long time ago. So Well, no, I'm just kidding. I got out last week. <laughs> I'm actually five. <laughs> I got out last week. <laughs> yeah. No, but... um, no, I'm 12 years old. I don't I don't really know. I think each um, book gets, like, maybe two episodes. Okay. Hmm. I That's don't, good. I don't know. How many books are there? Do you know? There's, like, oh, I want to say, like, Seven, eight. I've never read or remember. seen any of the movies. Well, yeah, see, they have like the I'll bad, the bad beginning part one, two, the reptile room part one and two, the wide window one and 12. two, miserable mill. So, like, surely they can't. So, what is it about? Like, I've a never series of unfortunate events. Yeah, like I've never it's seen a, it. Or it's okay. about a series of unfortunate events. So oh, it's like okay, so. <laughs> Um, it, it follows these three um, orphans. These, yeah, they're they're children. They become orphans. They're the Baudelaire orphans, and the they have Baudelaire. That's the last name. Okay, Baudelaire. Um, so there's Rudy um, Lair. <laughs> I was about to make a joke, <laughs> but I was like, uh, probably yeah, the right uh, time. That's nasty. Yeah. So the oldest <laughs> one, I can't remember her name. Uh, Greta. No. I, w- I wanted to say I Violet. It. Violet. Yeah. Is it Violet? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's uh, Violet is the oldest, and she is like. Uh, like a mechanical wizard, um, she's, she's like very smart. she's really good with like putting these like a- engineering that kind of thing. Um, they so each is have like she an actual wizard. N- no, okay, <laughs> not interested. <laughs> well, well, I, I, li- I like how, I like how you said that trying to bait me. <laughs> but is she an actual wizard? Like no, okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Just go, go on, go on. Yeah. Anyway, the middle child, his name is Klaus. Um, Klaus um, is like Same a an incre- like super intelligent like book smart dude. Yeah, and he's like an got like this encyclopedic knowledge and like a photographic memory and stuff. Okay, and there's the um, they're like the literal she's a literal toddler mm-hmm. and her name is Sunny, um, and she is just kind of a child. Okay, um, but apparently she's like strong and has like a weird. Oh bite. yeah, she can bite stuff like even the lab. In through like steel, one. yeah, like she can bite through stuff. It's crazy. So okay, so um, what's it about? So okay, so their parents, <laughs> the 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 Baudelaire family, they're they're like super super. <laughs> they're very very wealthy, like yeah. super wealthy. Okay. And their parents were killed in a really bad house fire. It's mm-hmm. dark. Yeah, um, it's like, it's like a kids book, but it, it's actually pretty like dark. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, their parents die in like a huge horrible house fire, and do we get to see it? Um. Uh, yeah, I think in the show you you see brief cuts of it, okay. but mm-hmm. they they keep it very very PG. They probably will bring it yeah. at some point. Yeah. But um. Yeah. So they they die. Their parents die in this house fire, and then you know the some attorneys and stuff like you know they're kids. You know they don't have anywhere to go. They're not old enough. Right. So um, because I think Violet is maybe sixteen or yeah, 15. Like 15, or 15, 16. I think she's okay. fifteen. Yeah. So she's like years away from being eighteen and being able to be on her own. Okay. So. Then um, this guy named Mr. Poe, who's like their like attorney, and he's like, he's he's an attorney, yeah, but he's kind of like very aloof. He sucked. <laughs> no, yeah, he's very aloof. Like he he's yeah. like not very privy to what's going on. He's kind of yeah. dumb, um, even though he's an attorney. 
Um, but he takes them to like their different relatives, people who could be their legal guardians that their parents trust and were friends with. Um, and it turns out they, they, the first guy they, they are taken to is Count Olaf. And Count Olaf um, is like the, the big bad guy, and he's just after their fortune. Mm-hmm. Because once um, Violet turns 18, they get this mass fortune. So yeah. um, the, the whole story, the underlying theme is um, there's like this weird conspiracy because he's got this tattoo of this eye. And uh, they keep seeing this picture of this like strange mm-hmm. eye symbol everywhere they go. Okay. You know, in, in some of the windows of the people's houses that they stay at, in the different guardians that they, they cycle through. Um, Count Olaf's tattoo. They have, like, the spyglass that has, like, almost like a codex kind of thing. Yeah. There's, like, all this, like, this huge underlying mystery of, like, whatever this group was that their parents were involved with. And they think that maybe their parents were killed. Uh-huh. And it's them trying to not only get away from Count Olaf trying to steal their fortune, but also... Like them trying to, you know, figure out what happened to their parents, and, and also just survive, right? You know? And and like all these horrible things happen to them. And yeah. why would and they kill that dude? Well, that's the thing. Count Olaf is also pretty intelligent, yeah. And he's like kind of a, a master of disguise, and he's got all these crazy plans. And it it seems like, and it, and that's the thing. Even when reading the book and watching the show, you're not even sure if Count Olaf is doing all these things because sometimes he's surprised oh, yeah, yeah. by things, and sometimes See, because in the Nickelodeon one, they just like. Oh yeah, he's totally doing all this stuff, right. you know. So, um, and I, the show honestly is way better. That's good, way better. But um, th- it's a lot of mystery. It's yeah. like a, mur- a, a huge overarching murder mystery, hmm. um, it, with kind of o- honestly kind of depressing facts. And you have like this this big villain who's um, kind of like a, a mastermind at deception, and it's really kind of interesting for a kids yeah. book. They do r- some really great work That's with good. it. Y- you should check it out. Yeah, I, I might put that on my list. That sounds really interesting because I always, from every everything that I've heard, well, well, I didn't really hear much, obviously, but I thought it was just gonna be like this lame kids, kids show, yeah, 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 like something stupid. But from what you're telling me, it really doesn't sound yeah. like that at all. Um, okay. Well, what about you, Ethan? What have you been watching? Uh, dude, I've been rewatching Masters of None, kind of, and then also. Man, what you haven't watched it? No. I would watch it. It's really good. It looks good. Um, I but like, I love the writer. She's she's really talented. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but also I've been I just rewatched um Manchester by the Sea. I don't know if you ever watched that movie. Oh, it's that Amazon okay. Prime. I think I I think um, I have. That sounds so familiar. Yeah. I never saw that. It's look, really good. It, it has uh Casey Affleck. Okay. And then uh, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, what is the movie um. It's a Wes Anderson movie, um, The Kingdom. Moon What's Ra- Moonrise, Moonrise Kingdom? Kingdom. Uh, the kid in that movie is like the jerk, um, but in this movie he's the one that's being that has the issue. <laughs> so what happens is that um, essentially <laughs> Casey uh, Affleck's character has to take care of this boy, which is that boy, um, because his father has passed, which is his brother, um, and so they're trying to figure out how they can figure this out essentially uh, i don't want to give a lot away because it's it's a very deep and like sad movie mm-hmm. like the first time i ever watched it like even the performances in it are just amazing uh they bring tears to my eyes most of the time um but it's just a really good movie it's very sad i will tell you this um yeah so i don't think that You'd be down for, but if you want to borrow it, I have it. Well, I have so. seen it, but I think oh, okay, because it looks familiar. Yeah, okay. the music in it and just like the f- uh, the videography or the cinematography in it is just um, outstanding. Um, I still think you need to watch Searching for Fellini. Yeah, you keep telling me about that. I still haven't had time to. Oh my gosh, it's watching all these movie. other movies. <laughs> Make that your next movie. You okay, watch. is that on Netflix? That sounds yeah, kind of interesting. Netflix. I just looked up like a little, um, not like synopsis, but a little like. Uh, Brief description of what the movie is about. Yeah. Moonrise Kingdom. Do you have a Blu-ray player? It's on I, Netflix. Uh, I, think. I don't. Is it? Wait, is it's not on Netflix. It's not on there anymore. I don't think it ever was. It's an Amazon it Prime. It's an Amazon Prime thing. It. So yeah. why why is it that Wes Anderson? You know, you have like these uh-huh. legendary directors and stuff. Okay. You know, Tarantino sure. stuff like that. Like, why is Wes Anderson so so uh, like re- like revered with what he does? Because I mean, I know like it's the style. Is it the, the, he's the very it's yes. oh my gosh yeah. he has got something out of this world yeah it's something that none of us can really recreate at this no. moment it's like it's I feel like it's a mixture of his colors because mm-hmm. they're really bright and vibrant yep. 
Well, I was just looking at these pictures that's for um, like promoting the movie. Mm-hmm. Which one, Manchester by the Sea or Moonrise Kingdom? Moonrise Kingdom, oh, and okay. like I don't, you don't see like really bright colors like this in movies like ever. Yeah. Also, I think it's more like because I feel like his movies, and this might just be me. Okay. I feel like they're. They seem like they're plays in a sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, I totally like, agree with you. And that. I love how when he does like CGI, it's always like stop motion stuff. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah, it's really good. It takes so much time though. It does, it's worth it, man. He, yeah, no, like, it is. Did you ever see um, what's that movie with Bill Murray? Um, Life Aquatics. Yeah, Life Aquatics. Yeah, I saw that movie. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah and when amazing. they found the tiger, spoiler. When they found the tiger shark at the mm-hmm. end. Yeah. Oh um, man, that movie actually kind of made, teared me up. I know, so. dude. It's it. He writes some <clears throat> really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see them work together again. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he was in Moonrise Kingdom, but it's just like he was. He's going to be in this one. Oh, the dog. Yep. The dog one. Oh, yeah. Isle of Dog. Or, yeah, Isle of Dog. <laughs> yeah, after this, I'm wanting to make a live action movie. What the heck? Wes Anderson's like this awkward, like, he's not even that old. Yeah. No. He's like 28, 26. He, he just looks like an, an awkward, like, I don't know. He just looks awkward. Yeah, but he's. He kind of is, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I've seen interviews with him. But it's not like one of those like awkward, like weird awkward ones, you know what I mean? And Ethan, don't you go to the thing at the Philbrook? Yeah, every, every year. year. Every year we usually either watch uh, Moonrise Kingdom or Bottle Rocket, which was his first movie. So, <laughs> are you going to cry? Grand Budapest no, Hotel. I'm trying to stay away from the mic. When <laughs> yeah, no, I got sniff. you, I got you. But, uh, yeah, no, I do that every year. It's always It's always hot. Because yeah. they, they did it one, the first year I ever went, which was like a couple of years back. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did it inside, but they did half inside and then half outside. Because okay. they bring the same dude every year. It's not Wes Anderson, but he's yeah. a guy that did a book about Wes Anderson. Okay, I can't yeah. remember his name specifically, but he knows him very well because, you know, he had to. Yeah. Does Wes Anderson like love Bill Murray? Yeah, yeah. no, he he has his Is it kind of like setup. Tarantino and Sam Jackson? Yes. Like the, yeah. yeah. Well, he has a set people. Like, mm-hmm. his first mm-hmm. person... Edward Norton. Edward Norton. Uh, the kid from Scott Pilgrim. Jesse... I, not Jesse... I, no, I, the I, guy I, that... The main, the last villain in Scott Pilgrim. Oh, uh, well, I was in Scott Pilgrim. Oh. Um, or did I? You no, look I a lot like him. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. I can't about. think I, of I his name right Adrian now. Brody? No. no. <laughs> Here, I got it. So it looks like Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> I do not look like Adrian Brody. <laughs> I actually just found out who that was a couple of days ago, so that's why I'm like, I definitely Jason didn't. Schwartzman. Jason All Schwartzman. Right, yeah. um, he works a lot with uh, your boy from Ragnarok. Um, Taika Waititi. Ta- no, not Taika Waititi. Uh, also, the dude from Jurassic Park. I'm just gonna be naming off movies. I, uh, cr- wait, what? Um, Chris Hemsworth. My dude. <laughs> oh, he's not your dude. Did I like him? Yeah. He's in Jurassic Park. Is he cute? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, you're going there. All right. Um, I, I don't I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, my God. Why Unless it's Kevin Smith, but I don't think he was in no, either of those No, but movies. like his first movie, I'll, I'll just pass it for right now. But pass. the first movie that he ever made was Bottle Rocket, and that yeah. had both the uh, the Wilson brothers. So okay, Luke yeah. and, uh, and Shaq. Sh- I can't wow. think of his name. <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. Um, which is. Uh, Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. Thank you. Wow. wow, which was hey, a really good door. movie. If you have, if you guys haven't door. seen that, go, I would, chow. I would she, say, "Good chiga, good chiga, good chiga." Oh my god, oh, they scared. <laughs> they, uh, they they should have left that movie at one as well. Yeah, I know the which, second one did what not is that hold one? up. That's cars, cars. Car, oh, okay. Life, Life is, is a highway. What the fuck, dude? I wanna ride it. Oh, I don't like how long. sometimes we sync up. <laughs> That's really that's the that twice in like less than a minute. That's weird. Yeah, that's, that's weird, man. That's <laughs> yeah. Really weird. So okay, so okay, Ethan, I got a question for uh-huh. you. I got so, an so you're fi- you you know you're established filmmaker. Mm-hmm. You know you have your own style. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so you know how we were talking about how Bill Murray, uh, you know Bill Murray, and you know Wes, um, Wes Anderson. We- I almost said Wes Wes Nelson. For Jeff some Goldblum. Reason. Oh, oh, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, he plays with Jeff Goldblum. You're right, I do love him. (laughs) A lot. Yeah, oh, you do? I I thought so, (laughs) but I was like, oh, maybe not. Um, Yeah. Jeff Goldblum is amazing. What? Okay, so if you (laughs) Have you seen that? I'm sorry to interrupt you, (laughs) but have you seen that video of... (laughs) It's him purring for like 10 hours. (laughs) It's a thing on... It's just Jeff Goldblum purring? Just 
Why yeah. would I do that for t- why That's I, so I don't know. Stupid. It was so dumb, but I just started after a little while, after you like keep listening to it, you just start cracking up laughing because it's so stupid. Like it's one of those things. You know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah. Know <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. So uh go ahead. So I am an established filmmaker, Wes Anderson. Okay. Well, you could. Oh, uh, I'm not Wes Anderson. Yeah, you're Ethan. Oh, I'm Ethan. I'm Ethan. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> okay. You and good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gangster mode. Yeah. No, but like, okay, so. <laughs> 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's say that. Yeah. Um. Okay, so like we said earlier, Wes Anderson has his, you know, his actors that he works with, uh-huh. right? Ooh, who would be my actors? Yeah. Ooh. Is that but is that something that you think you'd have to like no. work with them? For no. A while to See, yo, them, well, or? well, here's I, the biggest problem with that I think is probably actor chemistry. Yeah. Mm. Cuz you can kind of tell when things just don't work. Like you, you can now. you can have a you can have a really <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Yeah. <laughs> you you can have a really great movie and then I f- like I feel like if the actors don't get along off camera, right. then it just creates a weird tension that actually kind of goes into the movie as yeah. well. Yeah. No, I totally agree with that. But um, but if you had to pick. If I had to pick, I would love to work with Jason Bateman. And, oh, he's um, awesome. Right? Um, he's also Michael Sarah. I'll just make Arrested Development. I'm doing another season that went Arrested Screw Development. Screw Ron Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it myself. Oh, wait, no, he does the narration. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> but Michael Sarah. <laughs> um, damn. Huh. Uh, Seth Rogen. I would love that. I love Seth Rogen. Oh my god! Um, either Seth Rogen or uh, you see his new thing on Netflix. I have not yet. I was, that's on my list. Which he, one's that one? He, he it's like a n- Seth Rogen's comedy show charity. Oh, okay. hilarity for charity is what. It's okay, called. I saw that. Yeah, it was a thing on Instagram. But it's got like that's a bunch ad. of stars in it. Apparently, it's supposed to be really funny. How many? How many can I choose? Three. Ooh, three. Correct. Ooh. Okay, already, so Jason, you, you Jason, got one more. Well, no, I'm gonna take. Jason Bateman's totally there. Yeah. Fuck Michael Sarah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah oh, hey no, he, he's cool. Oh, hey guys. He's a man child. How's it going? Oh, Jason okay. Bateman, he can uh, just seeing him. On he can Ozark, act, dude. He can freaking. He can play like any. Role. I have so many of his movies, and he can do. Yeah, he has comedy he's chops great. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's it's like, a good variety. Like, did you Ozark? see Game Night? You see? No, Ozark? I haven't seen that yet. No, I still haven't seen Ozark, dude. Yes. About dreads? No, you need to watch. No, los, it's, los it's good. Logos? It's more of like uh, washing. Money, sorry. Oh, like laundering yeah, money. Yeah, laundering yeah. money. Yeah, um, <laughs> washing. Money. Yeah, washing. It was like <laughs> it's more just him washing <laughs> stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's just him throwing like singles into a into a washer. <laughs> Ding. It, did you like Breaking Bad? I didn't watch it. Okay, because it's oh, a lot man. like Breaking Bad. Are you, are you doing the same thing that I did for a while? Where I was like, I don't like how everyone is crazy about this show so i'm not gonna watch it no honestly Word. here's a, okay so i it came out and everyone was like oh i'm bringing bad <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I don't think anybody was like that uh everybody they, they was were like they that. were that's why that's why i would watch you i could not go to school or go any have you seen breaking bad you don't watch breaking bad you fucking idiot what are you talking it was so stupid and like i think because of that i was just like all right <laughs> like, yeah. we're done but there. but i i did come around and i did watch some episodes and i just i couldn't i couldn't get into it the first season's rocky. Yeah. But after that, do, 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 the freaking <laughs> no. oh yeah, The freaking show is amazing. I'm not going to lie. Like I was like that for I understand you. I was mm. like that for the longest. I don't I don't hate it. Like I'm not like <laughs> I'm never going to watch it. <laughs> Fight the man. <laughs> Wakanda forever <laughs> to Chad forever. I said that with like the most Texan accent. I know. Like, beer <laughs> monger. <laughs> beer monger. I really want to remake that movie with, with like all frat dudes <laughs> and just ruin everyone's life and have Marvel Cap-a-conda. come out. Wakanda. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I know. Oh, so I Jason it. Bateman, <laughs> yeah. Simon Pegg. Oh, love absolutely. to work with Simon okay, that's Pegg. A good choice. Because he's a great writer as well, so oh, yeah. you know you mm-hmm. could bounce stuff off of him, and even Jason Bateman. Like I was gonna say, Jason re- Bourne, <laughs> <laughs> Matt Damon. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ is Jason Bourne. <laughs> well, isn't that the new things, John Wick? Like that's John Wick, man. Have you seen those John Wick movies? I have both so of them. Good. Yeah, they push the boundaries on action movies. Man. <laughs> he goes all those <laughs> one takes and stuff like that. You know, he does all the driving and stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Dude, Keanu Reeves is, like, the real deal. He's, yeah. like, what, 50-something? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, dude, he's awesome. And you know what's crazy is that, like, I, I watched that he movie. He killed a man with a pencil. 
How the heck do you do oh, that? God. Oh, well, God, I love that movie. Yeah, um, but also, um, oh, what is his name? Wicca, 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 wicca. Dude from Drive. Oh, Ryan Gosling? Ryan Gosling. Those oh. are my three. Wait, you just named like four. No, I said you Jason said- Bateman, Simon Peck. I was talking about John Wick. But I wasn't saying that. that oh, those three. Are, are these working? Ryan are, are these like working with them together on one film, or just working with them just individually? Well, like like how Wes Anderson does. I mean, they're they you know they can. Well, be. he has like twelve. Oh yeah, but I'm yeah. only choosing three. I know. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. is Bruce Willis? No, no, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis is in Moonrise Kingdom. Yeah, I know he but is. He's, but not, he's a, not like in he's all not the regular. Other ones. Yeah. yeah, I think he might be in maybe one more. Yeah. Possibly, you know, Yoko Ono's in the new one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, she okay. wrecked the Beatles. <laughs> she wrecked a lot of things. She wrecked the Beatles. She even rocked. Uh, yeah. So can so, I can I pick three? No. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like you, you good. No, 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 go on. I'm, no, for I'm real. just a musician. I don't know anything, man. No, oh, three hey, people hey, you can play. Hey, with. hey, stop that! <laughs> <laughs> You're more than you that. better go in gangster mode right now. Okay, so for <laughs> me, so obviously, I don't. <laughs> Eight fifty. <laughs> no, I. For me, I, obviously, I'm not a filmmaker, so I don't. I can't say from a directorial standpoint. But three of my favorite actors to like watch in movies that I'd love to see more of, um, probably in this order, would be. Christoph Waltz, mm. Mm. because that dude can act. Like anything he does is just so great, especially as a villain. He is just he is very magnetic in mm-hmm. his performances. I mean, he's just a brilliant actor. Oh, yeah. Um, and then honestly, I know he gets a bad rap for his drama work, but Jim Carrey is also a really great dramatic actor. Like like in yeah. the Truman Show, and Truman well, do you mean favorites. okay? Would you want to work with? Uh, Jim Carrey, like then or like now? See, Jim Carrey now. He's, he's, he's two like different people to, now. Yeah, yeah. He, I feel like he'd be really hard. Well, he, to like work with he went. Now. The, he's in this weird thing now, and he's like, isn't he like crazy? Well, he, he, he he's, he's not. Cr- he's, he's not good acting anymore. He he's, won't act. Anymore. He's not acting anymore. His well, last thing was Yes, Ma'am, wasn't it? I, I love mm. you, man. No, Yes, Ma'am. Was Where he just man? says yes to everything. I, I love know. you, man. Is the one with uh, Paul Rudd oh, excuse, and no, I'm, Jason Segel. I'm, I'm thinking of I love you, Philip Morris. That's oh yeah, how, yeah. Okay. Oh, Brenner. that might have been. The, yeah, that might have been it. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. Um, well, the last thing was like a serious role, like a really numbers. Serious. I can't remember. <laughs> numbers. Mr. Popper's Penguin. Mr. Pop. I think that no, no, that no, no, wasn't. Oh, that was not. Me, I do not want him I'm to gonna, go out I'm that way. I'm gonna research this while you guys are talking. I would feel so bad. No, but see, okay, like I would feel so bad. I don't know what I don't know what happened. Crazy. But you know Jim Carrey with a lot of like a lot of comedians, you know yeah. they they're always supposed to be the funny guy and have that crazy energy and stuff, and which Jim Carrey was for years how he became Jim Carrey, right? But I think something changed when he realized that oh. that really wasn't who he was. That's just who he like everyone thought he was, so he yeah. thought that he had to be right. very existential stuff and very like inward deep thinking, and so he kind of like broke that away from himself. So he doesn't. He's very like. He's very zen now, and he's like very this kind of guy. Um, and he's, you know, what is life about? Oh, like okay. he's that kind of guy. Kind of like a hippie right now. A little bit. Yeah. I don't. Okay, there's, there's, like, like, there's, like, like, there's an hippie. actually. Okay, so he did a role about Andy Kaufman. Okay. Um, yeah. Called. Oh, I can't think of the name. Wakanda Forever. No. no. Do you have his movie list right there? Yes. It's it has it has the the word moon. In the what title. was his last movie, by the way? Oh, uh, his last movie. Was well, would you count Jim and Andy? What the heck's that? I've never that's, heard that's that. That's the I was just about talking about. That. Oh, is that the one? Was, because oh, hold, hold on, hold one. on. Let me because before that, his last movie would have been Dark Crimes, which I've never heard of. Um, and you said it's about what's the movie called? Um, it's something about a moose. Okay, okay. So the name of the movie is Man on the Moon. Oh, okay. And okay. that movie is about Andy Kaufman, and Andy Kaufman was a really famous comedian. Changed the way that stand up was done, and mm-hmm. it was kind of a huge deal for comedians everywhere. Very legendary. He died early, I think. I oh remember, yeah, he died early. I can't remember of what, but Andy Kaufman was renowned for being kind of this crazy, hard to deal with, almost like multi personality guy. Um, and um, I can't remember. Uh, uh, Tony Clifton was his alter ego, okay. so Andy Kaufman he, he had like characters that he would do. And one of his characters was Tony Clifton, and Tony Clifton was like this producer guy who was a real asshole to everybody. And because of this weird, like, multiple personality thing that Andy Kaufman had, 
it was real. Like he would really treat people like shit, and it was yeah, a thing. Yeah. And Jim Carrey did so much studying that he made the, in my personal opinion, the mistake of method acting it. Oh no! So yeah. he, when he was uh, during all those months, that can of, mess you up. Yeah. No, during all those months of, I mean, why do you think Daniel Day Lewis isn't acting anymore? Yeah. Like, that dude can't take it anymore, even though he's amazing. Like, but no, for all those months of shooting, he was Andy Kaufman, right. and his relatives, like he would, he would like refer to them as his family and he made people call him Andy and stuff and his family were, was like it was scary it was like Andy came back to life mm-hmm. it was mm. weird um, man that performance must have been amazing though no it, it oh, was yeah. it was a fantastic movie right. and it's yeah. gotten a lot of great like a, like praise and stuff but mm. he also took the role of Tony Clifton very seriously because it's another huge part of the film and people in that documentary called Jim and Andy it's really good and uh, did you watch it oh yeah it's you, you can see a lot about Jim Carrey and his character and where he is now because right. it's very one on one and he's very existential right. in that. But it's a lot of like behind the scenes footage of what was going on during that time and how people were like, I don't want to fucking deal with Jim Carrey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's crazy. Like, like who does? Yeah. People like, I think he almost got sued mm. during that. There was a huge. It w- it was really intense and it really kind of broke. Um, Jim Carrey's character and I think maybe that was a big turning point for him I'm not going to assume I know everything about Jim Carrey right? Um, but you but, do but, <laughs> but, I, but, I, I, but I love Jim Carrey yeah. and he does a lot of great work Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind was great um, The Truman Show was fantastic The Truman Show is my favorite movie that he's done it, same it's yeah. like it's so great and it's such a departure from like the craziness that is like him being the Riddler in Batman mm-hmm. and it actually or the sh- mask right and, <laughs> and, and, and you guys remember I, I that I do love that movie <laughs> and the Truman oh. that is a great movie the Truman Show was, was I think his first like real dramatic yeah thing and that movie is just do you know what that movie is about no it's it was like the, it, that was the reality show. Yeah, what have you, you, remember? you know the allegory of the cave, right? Yes, we talked about in high school. Yeah, it's like that. So okay. basically, the Truman Show centers around this this kid. And see, I get that one mixed up with uh, is it Liar Liar where he's the uh, lawyer? Lawyer. Yeah. And he okay. Can't lie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's okay. also a good movie. That, that is. I, that's the only one that I really um, like of his. Yeah, but it's it's a great movie. The Truman Show. You should really check it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, like they they take this kid from birth, mm-hmm. and it's like a twenty four hour live. Um, streaming of this kid's life, and they see him grow I've up. I always thought about that. That would be yeah. interesting. And they, like, it, I don't know where which, they, they have this huge like super dome. Does he like live in a bubble or something? No, yeah, but it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like a big bubble. Every, a huge, everyone that he's ever known is just an actor. Yeah, oh, that yeah. Kind of his his parents are actors. Mm-hmm. His family are actors. And but they're his actual parents. No, they're actors. Where yeah. are his parents? Uh, no, he was adopted. Oh, he was adopted. Yeah, he was adopted. Yeah. yeah. And so Sounds they, crazy, so the, his whole life has been orchestrated. Yeah. And so once he gets older, like the, the, the what sets it off is you know he's going to he work. The bubble. <laughs> <laughs> so he's he's going to work, and his catchphrase is you know if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, or good morning, good evening, good, and good yeah. night, whatever. So um, he's why he says that in that little dicky song. Oh, mm-hmm. the truth. Yeah. 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 So. Hey, there you full go. Circle. Full circle. <laughs> so, hey. so he walks out of <laughs> I his. Feel enlightened. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He walks out of his house, and then one of the lights falls from the very top of the dome. Someone like one of the lights just broke and fell, and he was like, <laughs> but to him, it just looks like the sky. Right. So he's just like, what? Mm. I don't. And people are like, oh, that's that's nothing. Like yeah. it's fine, you know. And is and there like a narration as well? Well, I mean, so there's a guy who orchestrates everything. Yeah. And um, I th- if I'm not mistaken, I think he's the same guy who played RoboCop. Peter Weller? I think so. I no I was it Peter Weller? I'll look this up. I don't know. I thought it was the guy who played the villain in National Treasure 2. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I wouldn't want to work with him. I think so. <laughs> not, not I mean I, I know you're looking at me like that. I'm not kidding. I really it I up, really think it it's, unless it is Peter Weller. I don't think it's Peter Weller though. Can we add four? I want to put Dustin <laughs> Hoffman. Okay. I'd love to work with Dustin Hoffman. Do you ever see the Mirowitz stories? Yeah, he was in RoboCop. Peter. Oh, okay. What did you say? Do you ever see the Mirowitz stories? No. The one that's on Netflix with Adam Sandler and... Uh, I was right. Ed Harris. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. This guy. Remember? I got to turn down okay, your volume. Okay, I Peter Weller then. Scared the crap out of me. No, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, but the Truman <laughs> Show. Goes, oh my God! And I'm like, Truman, <laughs> Truman Show was. Are great. we in gangster mode? <laughs> gangster mode. The other actor I'd, I'd want to work or see more of is Sam Jackson, even though he's in literally yeah. everything. Motherfucker. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I, I just think he's, I just think he's great. Yeah, he is. Um, I also like Ryan Reynolds. He's awesome too. Yeah. Oh man. He is killing Deadpool, dude. He is killing it. Did you hear about what uh, he did for cancer? Yeah, the he pink suit it. and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> he killed he's a it. hero. He killed <laughs> Man, he's Did you hear that uh the, the screen testing for Deadpool two was like uh like almost twice as good as the no, that's what's as up. the screen Is testing it for the original? Out on no, we already had Valentine's Day. I was gonna be like, that would be awesome if they brought it back out on Valentine's Day. Again. But yeah, like yeah. I would love that. I don't know why you were first? Oh yeah, yeah. because right. we went and saw it together. Yeah. Oh, that's cute guys. Oh um, stop. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Lord yeah. Megatron. Okay, so okay, so <laughs> what about sure. yours? What about okay, yours? yeah, because I'm like <laughs> I'm waiting for it, Nathan. Anyway. Then, yeah. then Ethan's like Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Ben Stiller, everybody. I, I, I loved him in the movie Hook. Dustin Hoffman. Oh yeah. He's great. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Star scream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to You know to who think. else I'd really I'm sorry, my bad. I'm interrupting you, my bad. <laughs> yeah, you are. But might as well just say it now. Shia LaBeouf. Sam yeah. Witwicky. Yeah, was it? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Sam, <laughs> Sam Witwicky. One and only. So, okay. Okay, I think, I don't know. Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you still sad about that? <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> it really was Shia LaBeouf? What a, what a, here's the thing. He could have been really great. <laughs> yeah. No, he is. Here's the thing: like he he was a great actor, and then he just fucking went crazy. Now he's a rapper. It's because the all spark got to him. God damn it! <laughs> Full circle. Okay, ah. three. Okay. <laughs> well, you, wait, three or four? What are we doing? Just now? three. Well, Ethan, Ethan added Fuck one. Fuck Ethan Hoffman! Stop doing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Anyways, he's an American Do treasure. Have... First one, Star Screen. <laughs> Second Stars. one, Star Screen. Star. Third one, Shaq. Man, Dylan, <laughs> Dylan, and Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. So first one would have to be Ryan Gosling. He's great. Second, Harrison Ford. Oh yeah. You just want to make another Blade Runner? No, I love Harrison. <laughs> I, Ford. Know, I know. Shut up, Ethan. <laughs> You're like, I really want another. One. Oh, I, I want to change one of mine. <laughs> Never mind. You, you, you just understand. add four. Let me Let's finish. Four. four. Okay. Four. Damn it. Okay. Well, <laughs> five. Five. <laughs> okay. Well, three. Just do eight. <laughs> Three is Tom Hardy. Okay. Oh, right on. And four, I have to go with Michael B. Jordan. Oh, that dude is amazing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Beer monger. <laughs> Beer monger. Ah. <laughs> oh, saw. Chuck, Chuck. What would his suit be? <laughs> It'd just be like. Like, is it just like. It, it was, no, it's it just regular look, frat clothes. Yeah. With like, a, like beer. I just imagine it, no. looks, it looks just oh like to Chad's clothes, but it's just all these beer he cans. Has, <laughs> like, he has a vibranium belt. That holds all of his beer. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, who wants to get crunk, beer? bitch? Uh. <laughs> beer. It's okay. like a chastity belt. But with Uncool. Beer. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not okay. <laughs> Did you say you were going to change yours? Yeah, I wanted to change... Well, you can just add them now, because apparently the rule's four. <laughs> yeah, I fuck it, it five. <laughs> <laughs> We're making the rules. There's right. so many um, good actors. No My, rules rule. Okay, so... <laughs> Such a paradox. <laughs> anyway, um, too many great people to work with. Say what? Okay, we're only doing four. <laughs> God damn it! Five. My fourth one is has to be Mark Hamill. Oh yeah, dang! Be- because Mark Hamill not only is an incredible. Yeah, gonna be like, okay, five. <laughs> no, my my fifth one's uh, Michael Caine. Ma- Michael Caine. Master Bruce. Michael Master Caine. Bruce. No, I, did you ever see him Bruce in? Uh, Master. Master. What was it? Bruce. Harry Brown. Oh, Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. No, Lee it Boy wasn't, Brown. It wasn't Jackie Brown. Baddest man in the whole damn town. Better than an <laughs> old King Kong. Are you talking about the movie with him and Better um, than a James Earl Jones? Dog, dog. I don't think so. Okay. I'll look it up. No, but Mark Hamill is not only an, an, an incredible voice actor, but like that dude can really, really act. I know he got he gets pigeonholed because he's Luke Skywalker or whatever, right. but like you know that dude was on Broadway. Oh yeah, that dude does voice act. He does it all, and he's really, really good. Okay, can we add five? Because I got. Well, it. I did add five. Okay. <laughs> okay, Hugh Jackman. 
Oh yeah, that's that's. Because right when he said Broadway, I'm like, oh my god, I forgot about Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman's an incredible actor. He's literally he, he can do anything. He can anything. Harry Brown. Harry Brown. Oh, yeah. okay, that's a little action movie with him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Michael Cade. Michael Cade. Master Bruce. Ever Came since you were a little boy, I why do we fall, my... Master Bruce? <laughs> so we could get back up, Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the drugs? Where are the weapons? I never rewatched that movie. The only thing that bothers me about those Batman movies is that you could tell, you could obviously tell he's like he's suffocating in that mask. Yeah, because yeah. there's no like nose holes. Because well, he's always like <laughs> <laughs> he always looks like he's about to pass out. So that's what. <laughs> <laughs> well, also he's getting the, he's getting God. beat up. <laughs> Batman, you don't look well. Do you need a breather? <laughs> no. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> like some sickly old man. <laughs> Master Bruce. So. Alfred! <laughs> Alfred! And you got crying, Michael K. I heard you through these windows. <laughs> Ever since you were a little boy, I cried you on my arms to call you. I was like, house. but the house burnt down! No. In the Did first you? movie? Yeah, yeah, in the first movie. It was a oh, brand yeah. new house. Fucking Liam he, Neeson. I was like, you liar. Qui-Gon, Qui-Gon Jinn, Jinn? that yeah. fucking bitch. Man. <laughs> it took me forever to realize that he was Ra's al Ghul. Because I thought yeah. the other dude... Yeah. Hell, they say it's, oh, Raish al Ghul. Who anyway. says that? And then they called, like, Everyone. Then they called the League of Shadows. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's the League of Assassins. League of Shadows, League of Assassins. I thought it was Justice League. Thing. Well, but in the movie they call it League of Shadows. Right. But in the comics it's, it's actually it, League of Assassins. I, I mean, it goes by both. But mostly League of Assassins. They refer to it as both, but us, it should be Assassins. Are you calling me out a uh, gangster mode? Fuck, I kind of messed that up. <laughs> are you... Are you kind of... <laughs> is this too loud for you, Ethan? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. He's turning it down. So sorry. I've been reading uh, Dark Knight Returns again. Oh, yeah? That's something I go back to like every month. Cause the, it's, it's uh, like, the Fred Miller one? Frank Miller. Frank Miller. Oh, what did I say? Fred? Oh, my God. Yeah. Comic travesty just well, happened. Well, okay, actually, well, I, I can't say that because I always get Seth MacFarlane and Todd MacFarlane mixed up. Oh, uh, yeah. Which, yeah. So, which, if you don't know, Seth MacFarlane's the family guy. I don't yeah. know who Todd MacFarlane is. Todd McFarlane, is. he's the, oh, my gosh, he's like this legendary uh, comic book artist. He made Spawn. He had his own run with uh, Spider-Man, mm-hmm. which is probably one of the best runs because he's the one who actually pretty much made up he's the one who invented venom oh mm-hmm. really yeah basically that's cool yeah because he's uh yeah because he gave he venom did a lot for what what spider-man Tony looks like Hall, today yeah. he did a lot uh-huh. yeah he, and he did some really yeah. dark stuff that no done. frank miller is what? amazing i keep thinking about like the actors <laughs> oh you're talking about <laughs> toby mcguire <laughs> no no I'm not to- donald glover i would hold, like i oh. totally just like went by that but he's a director and writer so it's like you know I still think those older Spider-Man movies get a bad rap. <laughs> I, love, I love those movies. Dude, Ex- honestly, especially Willem... Especially the third one. Yeah. Willem- really? No. <laughs> okay, because I was like... He just agreed with me. I, I was know. Like, I, was I was like, like, is he playing along with me? I was like, <laughs> hell no. That one's the no, worst out of I all. I dig on I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Now dig on this. <laughs> And then I was watching that scene a few days ago, and I didn't know he's like did like these little Spider-Man moves and just like like on the dance yeah. floor. And <laughs> yeah, it's a bad. And movie. he he like slides. He like he gets on top of that chair and like slides all the way across. Yeah. <laughs> so dumb, so yeah. stupid. And all the people in the club were like, "Yeah, oh man, we can get down with this guy." Also, he's I like l- Spider-Man, but not Spider-Man. No, <laughs> it's weird that we can't even tell. <laughs> no, it. <laughs> Now dig on this. <laughs> I, I I'm gonna go home and watch that movie. Oh my god! Uh, do you guys, you guys don't watch video game Donkey, do you? Oh my god, yes. You do. Spider Man Three see- is the greatest thing that's ever <laughs> happened to cinema history. He is so funny. Dude. I love him. I love his videos because they're like really short. Yeah. And they're to the point, and they're just God. They're just so funny, man. <sighs> I wish we you could need to check them out, Ethan. I wish. I wish we could play. Can, we, we, to, can we play it? No. Will we get copyrighted? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn That's it. why I was trying to show you like the stuff for the where the wild things. Are. I'll show you after <laughs> wilder people. Honestly, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I've never. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> something, wrong with me? Yeah. Is something wrong with me? No, but honestly, it, video game donkey like he reviews stuff. <laughs> Did you see his Smash Bros trailer? <laughs> he 
he was, reviewed the was, Smash Bros. trailer, the, the new, new one? one? The new the one. New one. Oh, okay. Have you I, seen I gotta, it? I gotta remember. Don't tell me because I know I watched it. <laughs> he was it. like, it's the new one because it clearly does not have the line in oh, the yeah, side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, and if you look closely. It's clearly can... Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> I, have you watched it? Did you watch H three? Because he did a he did a podcast with Video Game Donkey. In oh, it. really? Yeah. Oh, but dude. It, it wasn't that uh, Video Game Donkey. I guess he's like really different ways around other people. Mm. He, he was like he was like quiet the whole time. It was like mainly his girlfriend talking. Yeah. And his girlfriend is like really obnoxious. Yeah. But yeah, it was mainly her talking. <laughs> it's gross. But God, is that really how she talks? That dude is so yeah. freaking hilarious, man. He's really like, funny, and he's awesome. he's like this like. I think he's from like he's got to be from New England because he's got he's, that, yeah he's got an accent like a thick boss like really. If people of, thought he was black, <laughs> oh, really? for the longest yeah, and then he no. showed his face and they're like oh, he's he like looks, this like, looks like big, a pedophile. He's, he's like a hefty <laughs> oh. like white dude. Yeah. He's like this big white he dude. He used to be freaking. He used to be really skinny. Really? Yeah, like yeah, really skinny. What the hell happened? Life views. Views. No, but <laughs> like well, I'll show you some some okay. of his videos. They're yeah. really really funny. They're hilarious. Sounds like what's up. Spider Man Three is the <laughs> best video I ever saw. <laughs> so I funny. thought he was gonna review the game. That's what I thought too. But I think he played the game at one point because <laughs> um, I remember, I remember that little quick time event to where it's like you're like trying to like jump and save this girl from this bomb, and then if you miss the button, you just like fall flat on your face, and she's like, "I'm gonna die." <laughs> and then the, the place blows up. My favorite is when he's like he's playing Smash. Uh -huh. the, the, the the videos of him and his buddies playing Smash and he's yeah. like I'm gonna get you I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. get you and he like trolls he, them that's so another much. thing he's good at games no too. he's really good and and oh, wait does he play well, um, fuck off bitch <laughs> okay. oh, damn Sorry. defensive alright Ethan Sorry. just came um, at Anthony just put your <laughs> magic wand hand out casting his magic <laughs> <laughs> dispel <laughs> to chat to chat beer monger nah. I forgot what I was Spring break, bro. Coachella. Oh, gosh. Coachella. oh yeah. Does he do some of those um those videos where he plays like H one Z one and he goes and gets the people? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Probably not. Okay. But he does he does a lot of stuff like that. Oh, it's that. just really funny. Um he, he did oh man, I loved it when he was playing Dark Souls. Oh, and he, and he my was like, God. I don't understand why this game is so hard. easy. I mean, everyone's just they think it's so hard. And he's like, watch this one hit. <laughs> and they're automatically dead. Oh, I love that dude. And man. then there's like he's like, too easy. Mm -hmm. Got it in the bag. And then he's like, he fights this guy and it takes him. And he counts how many it there's a there's like there's like a try counter. Yeah. And it's like literally like eighty something tries and he finally gets it. And, and like like in like try eighty, he's like, What the fuck? Like he gets so <laughs> mad. And then he try eighty seven, eighty nine or something like that. He beats him, he's like, huh. Too easy. <laughs> like he's like in the bag. Like it's so funny. Did dude. you guys ever get into Dark Souls? Like those games? I had a friend mm. who was super into Dark Souls and it just like people have those crazy like speed runs with nothing like yeah. no clothes and a spoon. Like, I know. The whole right. <laughs> I'm no, he's right. He's I, right. No, I because I literally watched someone, he's like, I'm I'm he played the whole game and he didn't get hit once. Yeah, how you know hits. I don't even so know. I yeah, I, I got Bloodborne though. Is that the same thing? I haven't played it yet. It's very I similar. For the channel actually. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be waiting a while. <laughs> um, it's in my library. But yeah, no, because I played the one that was like rated teen, so I think that was like the second one. Demon Souls, I think. I don't know. Yeah. I got it from Redbox. Returned it in like twenty minutes. Like I was mm. done. I'm, I'm a chicken when it comes to games like that. It's just it's very like I don't know. It felt like Tekken. Do you guys ever play like Tekken Six? I, I think that. that's the one that had the story mode that was like top down. Was it? Was it that one? So. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. It's, it's kind of like that, but a little bit. That was closer. so freaking hard, man. It's boring. It is. It really I was, was. I got rid of that game because I was like, I need something that's like fighting. Tekken man. Seven really changed that. That's good. So. Yeah. What about there's one that's before that too, isn't there? Tag tournament. Yeah, hmm. where it has like Ryu and or Ryu. Oh, you're talking about Street Fighter versus Tekken? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that one was cool. Yeah. They had that weird ass Mega Man on there. <laughs> yeah. He was like a middle aged man in a Mega Man suit. Did you guys ever see the uh first person shooter Mega Man game? No. What it was supposed to come out? No. Never came what? out. What? Never came out. That would have been amazing. What? It was it looks awesome. I'll look it up. But it came out around the same time like speculation what? of of it was uh around when Star Wars 
uh, 20, 30, 13, 13, 13, 13 came that out. That was a tragedy itself, man. I don't, yeah. wanna, I don't want to talk about that. Man, that would, that game had so much potential. Yes. Um, if only Lucas Arts would have just held out yeah, for dude. a few more years. It was supposed to be pretty dope. Yeah. Was that it? No, this is, yeah, no, yeah, he's right. Maverick Hunter? Yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, wait, that's how Mega Man looked? This is how it would look. I don't know if you can uh, see that. That's we'll put right. links in the description below. Yeah. It's, it reminds me of, I feel like the game reminded me of Metroid Prime. But the thing is, it was first person. This is how it would look. Oh, my God. Right? It looks I like Halo, actually. I know, yeah. but it's still like, me- I've never played a Mega Man game that's ever been like that, and I've always wanted it's to, you know what I mean? like that. Except yeah, for exactly. there was this one that was third person that was uh, Mega Man something. It was on the PlayStation 1. Was it Prime? I think so. It was the cover just like him with his helmet off. Mm. Yeah. Mega Man Prime, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay. That was a cool game. It was a cool game. Mega Man just always had like really cool lore to it and just mm-hmm. really cool characters. And, oh, man, that kind of, I feel like that would have been cool, but it's just like it looks too non Mega Man y. I think they, were, but I think because it was in such a like a beginning process, because they, that was like what they had just started on. And then the like, uh, company like shut down or something or quit making the game or something no. like that. Man, talk about freaking uh, I was watching this I was watching this video of like the top like the top five games that were canceled. Yeah. <clears throat> and I always, always hate doing that because then I feel mad. I like know, <laughs> like I after know. Like, because they had this Darth Maul game that mm-hmm. was coming out and it looked so sweet. And oh the game I really want them to make but I know they won't ever make another one is the Jedi Academy game. Why wouldn't they? Uh, they, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't think EA is gonna do that because they're working on an open world uh, Star Wars game right now, which I don't trust EA. Really? Uh, you didn't like like Star Wars Battlefront? No, it was boring. The yeah, first boring. one. The first one and the second one. Okay, I never played the second ones. Well, I, I don't think I played. I didn't play the second one either. But yeah, because they had those uh, microtransactions, which the which were the unfair freaking microtransactions. Yep. It was ridiculous. No, I totally agree with that. Thankfully, they're taking it out of not that game, yeah. but um, what was it? Shadow of War. Shadow of right? War. Yeah. 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 So, would you pick that up? Would I pick that up? Uh, so, I don't know whether or not I would. I loved the first game. I got the game of the year. Yeah. Uh, and I played nonstop once I like, because I bought like a bunch of games all at once. I bought Overwatch, that. So, I was playing Overwatch a lot. Um, Overwatch. Yeah. Do you like, do you play Overwatch at all? Not really. Okay. Um, but. One day I just put that in. I was like, okay, let's try this. Because I've never, I've read like The Hobbit back in middle school. That was like a torture. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. so long. Because the thing, the weird thing about The Hobbit movies is that The Hobbit was like the shortest book out of like the Lord of the Rings series. Yeah. But yes, it's they still were a to, big book. They were able to squeeze like three movies out. Yeah. yeah. It was weird. Most of them are just walking. Right. Yeah. That's, yeah, essentially. Walking, walking, but walking, um, walking, walking, in that game, the first walking. one, I really liked. The second one, I played a little, like I played maybe like Far two or three hours. Two, two or three hours of that. Mountain. I didn't like the mechanics in it. In what? In, uh... Shadow of War. Oh, really? Are yeah, it's different? a little bit different. Yeah, and like yeah. the uh, the leveling up system was a little bit different. Like er- everything was tweaked. Mm. I didn't like it. Um, and then, Tweak. like like everything yeah. in that game, it's grinding all the time. Yeah. So I hate. I was that. You know what game that I really wish that would have gotten made? What? Um, what? It was called Star Wars thirteen thirteen. <laughs> <Thirteen. laughs> yeah. Go on. Uh huh. What? It's we, already we, made. We, we, no, we had just no, been talking yeah. about it. You were just. Where were you? I thought he you was. Were he was in the digital age. He was oh, in... were you looking at your phone? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah no, I'm sorry too. Thirteen, thirteen looked really good. It was like it was... Uncharted mixed with Star Wars. It's the, the... Yeah, and you got to be like a sulk, or like a bounty just... hunter. Are you gonna get your head back gonna... in the game, boy? <laughs> like sports ball. <laughs> I'm so sad. No, but I really wish that would have gotten in. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Lord Megatron. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, 1313 would have been amazing. Because mm-hmm. I think that was like the whole Bubba Fett mm-hmm. game. Well, it wasn't Bubba Fett, but well, it was... Uh, well, that it, it was, was like Bubba the first game. Because the first they said... They were, Bubba they were Fett had his own game. Do you remember that on the... Uh, that was Django Fett. Oh. 
I, I think stand down. Damn. See, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> no, I I think was the Jingle Fett game even popular? It was fun. It was cool. Uh, I loved that game. Yeah, I played the hell out of that. <laughs> but <laughs> basically, yeah. Because he's just doing well. I was about to get it on PS4 just... because yeah. they had it on sale. Oh uh, yeah. No, yeah. but uh, cause they, I I got it on my PS4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you got it on your PS4. Okay. Yeah, yeah. like they did like remastered or oh, whatever, yeah. and they resold it. But um, oh, does it I, look I, good? I, I mean, Sorry, it's I it, it was interrupt. it's an old game. So right. There's only That's, so much they can yeah. do. Oh, yeah. But like. I don't think that game was all that popular when it came out. No, it wasn't. And I think maybe that's what had a hand in 1313's fate. Yeah. Because that game just would have been amazing. Right. And because of the not as good success as of the first Bounty Hunter thing, I don't think right. I wanted to do that. Yeah. Who do you think could pick that up? The game? 1313? Yeah, um, and would do... A, well, the well, problem is, it's like, it's, the game would have been great, but the issue is, is that Star Wars fans, unfortunately, don't want to play anything that doesn't have a Jedi in it. No, well, everybody no, 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 wants no, no, to no, play no, it. that wasn't the issue. It was, the, the issue was that Disney bought them. Yeah, and Disney was like, we don't the game want that. Got, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Disney canceled it? Yeah. Because they yeah, didn't want a, a rated M game, because it would have been a rated M game. Who gives a shit? I know, Exactly. Um, it's like going to Toys R... Did I ever tell you Does it not have anything that's, like, rated M or anything like that? Pulp Fiction. They it's in the vault. They have, they have Pulp Fiction. It's in the vault, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. how, do they, how do they have Pulp Fiction? Uh, well, they, you said they had, Cinemax, right? The last time we they, talked about no, that? No, Miramax. Miramax. They, they had a, I think they had like a share or something, so they owned part of Miramax, and technically <laughs> Pulp Fiction's a Miramax film. It was something Don't they like have that. a stake in, in Deadpool as well? Somehow. I don't and, know and, how. And Not yet, because apparently that deal is kind of like... The Fox deal? Apparently it's going kind of weird right now. Are they it still negotiating? That, yeah, well, probably. That's, yeah, because that's why. Wasn't it like sixty billion dollars or something like that? It was like, well, that's why X Men and the uh, and the New Mutants. That's why those are being pushed back. They they need to stop being stupid. I I I am I've been itching to see Fantastic well, Four in the Marvel Universe. Well, it's like at the same time, I, I don't think anyone wants to get screwed over. You know. Yep. Yeah. You gotta, but but to to be to be fair, it is Marvel's original IP. Right. They only sold it when Marvel was going under. And How then is Marvel going under? Well, because it was nobody's bef- buying the comics. Well, that's the thing. Comics they st- they anymore. they had to th- like comics were dying out. It was you know early two thousands, right? Uh, and late nineties, and comic books were kind of fading away. You had a lot of revolutionization in tech, tech, and yeah. and you had gaming systems and all these things that were taking people away from comic books, mm-hmm. and no one wanted to be ballsy enough to make a superhero movie. Spider-Man kind of defied that, but that was only after Marvel saved themselves from going under by selling the rights to Spider-Man stuff to Fox, and that's I why I thought they, they sold it to Sony. Excuse me, Sony. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my bad. No, you're I good. I misspoke. But they sold it to Sony, and that's like Sony, and and they sold X Men and Spider Man. That's why they, right, all, they yeah. have all those X Men movies. Right. Those were made, and X Men w- was wildly popular. But the, the first Spider Man movie was wildly popular, and it was the only good one. Uh, yeah. I love the second one. The second one's really. The second one's my favorite. I hated that one. That's my favorite. Octo, whatever. Doc, Doc Ock. Doc Ock. I didn't no, like the it. second one was good. I, okay, you know what? Yeah, I'll give you that. It wasn't as bad as I I thought. I rewatched mm. it recently, but the third one was just garbage. Yeah. But that's Boom. Marvel had to sell those uh, that IP to to keep themselves from going bankrupt and going right. under. And then they came up with Iron Man, and they blew up, mm-hmm. and they've been yeah. running the movie business ever since. Right. So it's. I don't know. So now they're they're trying to fight for their IP back. Did, it's did not you know going that, that well. little uh, scene at the end of the first Iron Man where Nick Fury comes in. Mm-hmm. You know that wasn't really supposed to like lead into like the whole cinematic universe. That was supposed to be like a little just gag. fun. Yeah, yeah. But then they're, they're like, oh shit. We're now we gotta do something. it all yeah. the time. It's like we made yeah. a promise. I see. I don't know. It's just gonna be after. <laughs> we made an- Billion dollar good mistake. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, yeah. Well, much. I mean, like literally, they had Sam Jackson come in for like a hot second, and it was supposed to just be like a, a funny, yeah, like you heard about these Avenger, this like the Avenger Initiative one, and there or whatever, or some what I he goes into that bar or whatever at the end of Iron Man. Oh, or no, 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 no,
Yeah, yeah but the new ridiculous. one, but not the new one, but like the one that came after that. That one, was, I like that one. Yeah, there's there's the Hulk, which was the Eric Banner one, and then there's the Incredible Hulk, which is the Ed Norton one. Yeah. Right. The Edward Norton one was pretty good. I liked what they did with Abomination and stuff. Yeah. But I think because that movie was under a lot of scrutiny and stuff, and was that before Iron Man? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Incredible Hulk? No, yeah. no, it was not. Because remember, Robert Downey Jr. came at s- the end of... It's probably before Iron Man 2. Uh, man. No, or, I don't think so. It was not before the first Iron Man. I, could, I really think I was I promise before. it's okay. not. I promise. I don't. <laughs> I promise, because... Because yeah. it, it doesn't feel like it was, it, though. It, it totally was. Because it would have been good. That's It totally was, I promise. Okay. Bec- I think. <laughs> I, <laughs> because I knew you were going to say it at well, some no, point. Well, no, it's because I, like, I remember I Robert Downey Jr. coming at the end of it. Like, to meet Ross. Are you talking about the Incredible Hulk or the Hulk? The Incredible Hulk. Yeah. The, yeah. No, he's right. What? No. Are you, you're, Same Are year. you thinking about the 2003 Same. one? Which one's the one with Edward Norton? Norton. Incredible Hulk. That's the one you're thinking. The, of? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. They two totally different titles. The yeah. old, the old, old one, which was like 2004. Yeah. Was just the Hulk. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. The Ed Norton one is the Incredible Hulk. They had to change it because of licensing reasons, yeah. I'm sure. Okay. But, um, the Incredible Hulk with Ed Norton was June 13th, and Iron Man was May 2nd, mm-hmm. both oh, in 2008. Okay. Yes. Okay. You want to know something? Mm. Uh, you, the one thing I really didn't like about the first Hulk movie was that you never saw his face until like the Hulk's face. Yeah, you get that a real secret. Yeah, and it was weird. until like the desert scene. Yeah, where he was like on top of that jet. Yeah, mm. and they, it like flew him all the way up into space, and then like he fell off and whatnot. To be fair, it's hard to get a good CGI face in two thousand four. Yeah, I don't blame them for for doing that. Yeah, that movie was like a real stretch at the time. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know. How, how are you able to mess up an Incredible Hulk movie? Just make it so boring. Well, if you think about it, that was like... Wait, was it actually 2004? I think I'm right. I think it was actually 2004. But still, I don't see how they would have to make it boring, though. That's the, that's my mm-hmm. deal. Well, also... Hulk's... This, I mean, his story is definitely not boring. Cause, I mean, oh, excuse me. 2003. Oh, gosh. June 17, 2003. So they both came out in 2003? No. Iron Man. Oh, okay. No, yes, no, so Iron Man and the Incredible Hulk. That was two thousand eight, but this, the Hulk. Okay, that's okay. Two thousand three. I'm getting this all confused. See, Listen, see, it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just it was a real stretch. You know, two thousand three. That's five years before any of the real superhero movies were starting to be made. So, like, you gotta honestly, yeah. I Hulk was probably a trial period for Marvel, probably. Just trying to see yeah. what worked and what didn't. And luckily, they lucked out with uh, getting Iron Man pretty much perfect. Mm-hmm. Well, Spider Man, I think Spider Man came out before. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I think actually Spider Man, I think was the one that was in two thousand four. Yeah, no, Spider Man was. I think that was two thousand three. Two thousand? Yeah. No way, it's that early. I think it's three or nineteen ninety. <laughs> I'm gonna be wrong either way. Two thousand two. Wow. Oh, so close. So close. So Spider Man two. Wh- which one did that come out? Spider Man two. Did that come out in 2004? Uh, Spider-Man 2. Because I remember... 2004. Cause, yeah, because I remember that the Spider-Man movies took a while to make. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and then after that, I think Spider-Man 3 came out in 2007. Yeah. I I really, really liked the Sam Raimi ones. I really, really did. I do, too. And, and I, I think, honestly, I think still to this day, those are my favorite Spider-Man movies, 1 and 2. Mm. Yeah. The Sam Raimi 1 and 2. Same. Yeah. I didn't like the Andrew Garfield hipster Spider Man. I, I actually, I actually like Andrew Garfield. Yeah, I did too. Mm. Yeah. It's just I just weird. didn't like uh, the villain in the second one. Was it? Uh, I just didn't like the whole second movie. Yeah, it was yeah, pretty it was bad. Just bad. Man, it was just like a rom com. Come bad. on, Jimmy Fox, you're better than that. Did you say Jimmy Fox? Jamie Fox. Oh, okay. I'm gonna mess up Spider Man, uh, and I have a weird lift now. And I'm oh like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Made that no movie sense. could have been so good. Yeah. You know, left out the whole. Although I will say, Tom Holland is actually kind of killing Spider Man. Yeah, right no, he's he's doing really well. Yeah, he's a. Man. Do you think that he's they're gonna idiot. bring in uh, either? What's her name? The two uh, girls in those movies. Oh, Gwen, like who would they bring Spider-Man. into Mary Jane? Yeah, Mary Jane oh. or and, uh, uh, Gwen, and Stacey. Gwen Stacy. Yeah. Um, Do you 
Jane. Well, they were well at in. some point, if, if you if you have Spider Man and you don't bring in Mary Jane, well, Mary then Jane is technically already in, I guess. Who is she? This is Zendaya girl. No, because they're like I, she, you should call me MJ. Not the same. Oh, is it? Oh. Is she, it's like I don't want to believe it. I think, but like, believe it. No, <laughs> <laughs> but I doubt they're gonna bring someone. I doubt they're gonna bring a Mary oh, Jane. Man. Honestly, I I could have sworn I read something that I think Kevin Feige believe had it. said that it's unrelated to actual MJ. But that's but so on the I, nose. Yeah, it's yeah like I know. Hard like, if you believe. call her MJ and like, oh hey, Mary Jane. We well, got a Mary Jane girl now. Well, like, that's, that's, that's the like. Who's this girl? <laughs> if, if you are, if you are, I'm MJ. <laughs> If you are talking about the Spider-Man like universe, if you say MJ, there's yep. only one thing people are gonna think of: yeah. Michael Jackson. <laughs> They're giving me a face. What? No. The door. It's a good the joke. Door. It's a good joke. <laughs> but no. So why are you mad? It's just <laughs> it's only joke. It's just game. Why are you mad? <laughs> Have you seen that video? Okay. Uh, you also kind of slipped into your Jar Jar Banks. Yeah, right yeah, now. you did. <laughs> How would? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only game. <laughs> oh. You can't expect me to do it every time I accidentally say I mean, it. we set you up pretty great. Yeah. You <laughs> didn't set me up. The oh, fuck. <laughs> See, oh. that's Jar Jar does like, not say that. <laughs> See, that's like us literally like. Uh, I was trying to like surprise you guys, but you know, fuck it. <laughs> that I mean, that's literally like us like, you know. <laughs> someone throwing you the alley oop for the dunk, and and you're just gonna sit like stand on the court and be like, nope. <laughs> I'm just like doing? pacing it. It just like bounces next to me. Oh my god. No, but I, I really like those Spider Man movies, and I'm really sad that um. I mean, I I don't think we're gonna get another Hulk movie. I don't know because the Incredible Hulk yeah. is a good movie, Ooh. but it wasn't all that popular either. Do you think we that we could do a versus with Red Hulk versus Green Hulk? Like that could be a movie. Yeah. Like later on, if they were to make a Hulk movie, it would have to be that. I yeah, actually, no, it it shouldn't be that because they did uh, a Hulk versus Hulk in the Incredible Hulk movie. They shouldn't do that. I want Gray so. Hulk before Red Hulk. That yeah, was, yeah. That's oh, how many Hulks are there? I there's there a lot of two. There's a lot of different. Okay. Yeah, but Gray Hulk, I feel like he would be a better fit. Cause, I mean, I feel like we're never gonna see Thunderbolt Ross. I just don't think we're gonna have another Hulk movie. I hope there's like yeah, a phase either. like nine to where they make the Thunderbolts. Well, here's the thing: like I was thinking about it, and like the, you know, everyone's been talking about what's gonna happen after Avengers: Infinity War. Yeah, everybody just people are gonna done. die, and there's yeah. gonna be like a huge over not huge, but gonna be an overhaul in like the main characters. When does of that come out? By the way, I'm sorry. Twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. A- this of this month. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get our tickets. But um, we should go. Yeah. We should go. Yeah. But yeah, like that. <sighs> There's just so much that they have to pull from in the Marvel right. universe. Mm-hmm. We, they haven't even touched the Fantastic Four, which is huge. And a lot well, of because they've touched it so many other times. That's going to be like places. their big thing. I feel like no, like but now that now movies. that once they get the thing with like the Fox deal out of the way, yeah, like the Fantastic Four. And I'm not gonna lie, I really did like that first movie. Um, I think I said that last week too. Yeah. Yeah. But like once they get that together, that's gonna be really really great. And then I think. Going from there, that's going to open up a whole new level. And I, I think actually Kevin Feige had said that, you know, going into Phase 4, right? It's Phase 4? Yeah. Yeah. Because this is the end of Phase 3? Yeah. I, cause I think Miss Marvel might be the next Kicking movie. off Phase 4? Yeah. Or Captain Marvel. Ah, uh, I, I, I think Captain it's Potato Marvel. Potato. I think she's a, it's the same person, I believe. It probably is. Because IGN actually reported about, about yeah, it. Yeah, it's supposed yeah, to be. The guy who was Shazam is supposed to be Captain Marvel, but it's, yeah, it doesn't matter. Is that Zachary Levi? Yeah, is he gonna yeah, be Shazam? Exactly yeah. Oh my he's god, he's gonna be yeah, Levi. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah, Chuck, he, he's yeah, he's mm-hmm. Shazam. Chuck's gonna be Shazam. Have you not seen, yeah. the, have you not seen the, his costume and everything? No, what? It's amazing. I love. I love Chuck. And then they say that. <laughs> yeah, I, love uh, I have all the seasons. It's amazing. I love that oh, show. Such um, a great show. But uh, I just hope who's gonna be? Uh, I forgot his nemesis. Black, Black Adam. Black Adam. The Rock. Be Dwayne the Rock. Dwayne. I love that. Well, he's not gonna be in this movie though. Oh come on. <laughs> just oh come, come on Anthony. Come on. <laughs> um, are you looking it up yourself, Nathan? <laughs> okay, bye. I don't. Yeah, I. That's not what. Yeah, no. I think it looks kind of lame, but I like how they put more color into it. Yeah. No, this looks awful. Wait, let me see. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Like this looks bad. It looks like the video game. It like just it doesn't injustice. it doesn't look good. What injustice? I think yeah, that was I like that one because he had the hood on. No, do you always have the hood? 
And then Justice, he did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you play two? Yeah, I, I bought that. Is it good? Dad. It's actually pretty Is it better? Fun. Is it I, better than yeah, one? Yeah, for okay. sure. There's a lot more to do because they have the whole, like, customizing your gear and making your character better. And oh, all I that. didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. they just came out with the uh, definitive edition or, like, the legendary edition, like, the one that has, like, everything. Uh, I've been thinking about buying it, but I'm I was like, the Ninja I'm Turtles. <laughs> yeah, the Ninja Turtles coming yeah. to that, yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in the half shell. Turtle power. Yeah, but, um, yeah, Turtle that game's power. really good. Yeah, uh, Captain Marvel. Every character confirmed for the MCU movie. I want the scrolls to be a villain because I feel like they'll play a huge part if they. Yes. I mean, I think I think them doing Miss Marvel is absolutely going to be. They're going to have to do the Super Scroll thing, and that'd be a great thing to do mm-hmm. for uh, a f- some future phases. That would be the next big thing with the Super Scroll. Oh yeah, because you know the scrolls like take over and they copy all the Avengers' powers yeah. and stuff like that, and they take over their. They sh- they shape shift into them, and it's really really cool. Yeah, because I, I think they not knowing who's a scroll and who's not. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. I think they first appeared in like Fantastic Four. I think yeah, they oh. did actually. Oh man, if they tie that in, <laughs> do nice. copyright. My bad. <laughs> Fucks your problem. It's a- shut up. Rant. What? No, dude. Come it's on. An ad. <laughs> <Calm your laughs> shit. I'm mad. <laughs> so oh, gangster mode mad. <laughs> I uh. Did you have you been listening to Kevin Smith's podcast? I don't listen to him in a while, honestly. I said I listened to That's one. That's your boy. I know. I listened I just, to this most know. recent one because apparently we know who the real fans are. <laughs> Me, <kidding>. <laughs> you're. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was listening to buy another one. I'm mad. <laughs> I was listening to one of the podcasts, and you know how like they're talking about oh one of the Avengers will die, mm-hmm. you know Captain America or Iron Man, who knows like whatever, which honestly would Watch really kill off War Machine. <laughs> Like I thought they were gonna do a Don't civil war. Hey, hey, don't mess around with that. I no. love War Machine. Yeah, but you know, like I'm mad now. I was thinking about it, and I, I, I know they're not gonna do it. And the guy in Kevin Smith podcast, he asked them one of the dudes' questions was, like, so what do you guys think is gonna happen, like the fate of the Avengers, and how are they gonna like work, um, the Fantastic Four into what they have set up already? And you know, Kevin and Mark gave their like comments on stuff. And they were like, well, what, what do you think? As, I mean, obviously, you must have an I- idea of what you think should happen. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, I don't think they're going to do it. But um, he said, so you know how apparently um, in some of the interviews, you know, in for the press runs and stuff, um, Tom Holland and Benedict Cumberbatch have been doing press together because apparently they have some stuff in the movie that happens. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You know, and everyone has like, there's like, the, all the cast is split into groups. So right. they like have different things that they do at the same time in the movie. And, um, they have a lot of scenes together that they've, they've been reported as saying. And the guy was like, so I know they're not going to do it, but it would really suck if you were to lose Captain America or Iron Man because they're just so popular and, and very famous and they could be really big helps to the story going on overall. So it would suck to lose either one of them or both. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, even though that's the reality we kind of live in at this point. But he was like, what I think would be great is if you know some bad stuff happens, one of them gets killed. And then Doctor Strange uses the Time Stone, and he and Spider Man like have a, a thing where they go back in time, change something, and they come back. And instead of Avengers Tower, it's the Fantastic Four building, and that's how they would work Fantastic mm. Four into. Which honestly, by pissing off well, everybody. In well, Fantastic here's the Four. thing, though. Remember, they s- at the end yeah. of the Avengers, they're like, or no, in the Homecoming, the whole reason they were moving that sh- that ship out was because someone bought the Avengers Tower. What so if that could be Reed Richards. And also another thing, so John Krasinski and Emily uh, and Emily Blunt, they were both well, John Krasinski at least he was like um, the Human Torch and no he because people are like people made this thing they're like man it'd be so cool if he was actually Mister Fantastic I can see and that. she, and and she could be the, Sue Storm yeah and they showed the artwork and then he replied he's like man that actually would be awesome I'd love to do that. I would be down for that. Have you seen the picture of it? No. It looks pretty oh, Have you guys seen it. the pictures for uh, all of the... It's clobbering time. ...heroes for the new Infinity? Yeah. Like, those are the new posters mm-hmm. or stuff? Yeah. They look awesome. They are. Oh that's my, just my like girl. a... girl. Oh, my gosh. I love that Thor has the eye patch. I think it's I know, dumb. yeah. I know. You're going to bring it up? Bring it up. Well, I don't want to sound stupid because I may have just, like... I don't know. But I could have sworn I've seen him with two eyes at one point. Yeah. 
in the in the trailers, yeah, they made it with two asses. That they didn't want to give away the fact that he wasn't gonna have. Oh, yeah, they didn't want to give it away in the. Oh, trailers. that was before. Yeah. Here's oh yeah, because it came out all the way at Comic Con. Oh, I remember I watched that trailer, and it was only out for like thirty minutes online. And I was able to see it. <laughs> These are the other ones as well. I want that one. There's Nebula. Uh, we got Nomad, which he's not Captain America anymore. He's a Nomad now. Drax, which I don't care for. War Machine. Oh yeah, War Machine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought he was paralyzed. No, or, but okay. At the very end of Civil War, he's like trying. He's going through therapy and all that stuff. Which so. It makes me think, Ant Man and the Wasp's coming out this year. Yeah, when is that gonna? That one comes out like when is that gonna June, tie in? Right? I don't know. It probably will coincide with. I, yeah, I think isn't Ant Man the Wasp coming out in the summer? Yeah, but it wouldn't make sense though if it happened. It uh, it wouldn't make sense if it happened like at the same before, time. Yeah, before uh, Infinity War because that's when. What will probably happen is something happens in the movie where they have to <coughs> leave. Dude. What do you think about that? Could say? that pops possibly happen? Bef- where? When? Like, as uh, mm-hmm. Infinity War happens, you know, they actually get taken away because they have to go do something else. You know what I mean? Like, I they're know. there for, like, half of like, it. I but feel then... like that's all. They have to be all hands on deck at that right. point. Right. I know. But um, I think it might be after Infinity War. But, like, it, How's that it gonna doesn't work seem. Well? It doesn't what seem do you, like it will. What do you mean? Uh, I'm agreeing with you on that. Like I like I know like it's it's weird I don't know, but I'm excited for it though. Did I tell you guys like when I went to go see Kevin Smith? They were filming that. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it was, it was pretty sweet. Like in the trailer, you see like that gold Cadillac. That's what I saw. Yeah, yeah. I was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I love the Ant Man movie, the first one at least. It was great because that was the movie that like bought like brought me back onto Marvel. I still haven't seen it. It's good. I need to. It's hilarious. Because that's when Marvel had the little shitty phase I didn't like, but that's just me, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it definitely brought me back. Uh, so yeah, so would so what'd you think about John Krasinski's uh, fan Reed Richards? Really quick, it it does say that it will be set before Avengers: Infinity War. Okay, how? I think they're going back because if you think about it. You know they got it. Could be after Civil War though. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is. Yep. Well, because, because okay, so Ant Man had his own movie, right? Mm-hmm. None of the Avengers were in that. Like, no, it was just him. Except his, for Falcon, <laughs> the only one they could right, afford. Right, right. But I mean, I like Anthony Mackie, but whatever. Yeah. I know. And and so <laughs> when he was in Civil War, that was the first time he was with the whole group, and they, it finally looked more like the classic Avengers team, and it was really really cool. And so. Um, much like with Spider Man in Homecoming, they detailed like what he was doing during that time with the funny like vlogs and stuff mm-hmm. that he was doing. Yeah. I think it's kind of the same thing. So, like, it, like they went back in time to where Peter Parker was doing stuff for. So Civil would War. this be before Civil War then? Because that would this be, this that, will be that would, that would right be after the events of Civil War, just like Spider Man. Right after the events of Civil War. Yeah, but that wouldn't make sense though. It, it'll remember, probably they all got locked up and then they had to go to like Wakanda. Well, then it's. It, uh, it would have to be before. Yeah, Civil when War. does Wakanda happen? It would happen. Maybe like, it is. Cause, cause, like, they maybe it just picks up right after his movie. Or like, uh, and maybe you yeah, see like, the events yeah, of Civil War happen. Civil War. Like, it, because, God, like, because he yeah, was doing nothing during Civil War, well, during the beginning of the Civil War. And they are all locked up. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah you're right. But then. Mm. So it's, it's got to be a, like, a, it has to pick up like almost right after the first movie left off. Yeah. yeah. That yeah, last exactly. movie was like, what, like two years ago? Mm. Yeah, two yeah. Years ago. 2016. Wow. Time goes by so quick now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah, I think that have to be like the. That's that have to be it. No, that was a good movie though. I loved it. Yeah. Paul Rudd is just great. Yeah, he was fantastic. The thing that it, the, the stupidest part that cracked me up was like when <laughs> was when they when he was working at Baskin Robbins and <laughs> the dude was like he's like hey I would like I like to have a burger. He's like, oh no, no, we sell only ice cream here. And then he's like, yeah, can I have extra mustard, mustard, you know, pickles and all that? And then Paul Rush just like, dude, <laughs> and I just like, I just died. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna like this movie. Yeah, I was kind of nervous about Paul Rudd being a superhero for a while though. Everybody was, but he actually he killed it. Yeah, man. So How yeah. do all those Hollywood stars get so like jacked so quick? They have like a. Um, a regiment, it's but ridiculous. they do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 
Like, like it's fucking Chris Pratt. Mm-hmm. That they went from being mm-hmm. fat Andy to like yeah. he gives me hope, like for real. <laughs> like yeah. I'm not, I'm not even yeah. lying. <laughs> like, well, but I was like listening to um, a interview with Michael B. Jordan, and he was going over how much stuff he does. I mean, but they have the time to work out. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. why they're so ripped yeah. and like that. I mean, even though that he has like all those pimples or like whatever, I don't know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, these are scars yeah. from all my victims. I saw somebody, <laughs> beer mom, somebody put a, a thing on Facebook. They were like, "No, that's that's <gasps> bed bugs." <laughs> like, oh. like, oh my god, yeah. I saw this freaking. I'm gonna see if I have it. Okay, keep talking. Um, but while you know they have all the time to get <laughs> ripped, like, and then they also have their private. Um, gym people, wish so I it's had, like, wish I had that man. I'd be, I know, right? Like, but he, well, the issue in is, is like, I, yeah. I think the difference is that they have, you know, because ba- you you can do like dieting and working out based on your DNA to help you lose, yeah, and, like really good definition and gain muscle like super super quick, right? And how of course they can all afford cost? to do that. I wonder. Hollywood, so I wonder how much that costs. It uh, does not sound cheap. Yeah, it does not <laughs> at all. But also, um. They're getting paid to do it too, so it's like you know, just reimburse. Well, let's be honest; like the studio probably pays for them to be able to do that. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. definitely. Because oh, yeah. uh, BuzzFeed actually did one to where they uh, oh yeah, they did like superhero workouts. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think for like a few months, and like they get results. And so I started going off of that. Can't do it. <laughs> uh, but the <laughs> thing, much. my thing though with dieting is that it gets really expensive. Yeah, no, I agree, and it goes it, quickly yes. too. Um, Plus, I I don't have the discipline to like meal prep for an entire week. Right. You know, well, I don't do it every I, time. I know. I, that's my hardest thing. I hate cooking. At least for me, wh- while I'm doing this healthy kind of cleansing, I guess you could call. Um, I've been just I doing it every day. Of. I haven't. I never do it a week in advance because it's like I know I'm not gonna like it or like want it in that week. Yeah. So I switch it up regularly. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what else do we have to talk about? I just want to show you guys this picture real quick. A beer monger. <laughs> to chat. Yeah, dude. Oh. Or Starscream. <laughs> I, I wish I knew the guy who did the voice of Starscream. Why? So great. Well, dude, there's so many, like, I actually saw, um, it was a thing on Facebook, I think, that was like, remember these? And it was like all of these, like, old, like, 90s TV show themes. Yeah. And I was like. Oh my god! Like I think we saw the same thing because I remember seeing that too. It was like Cat Dog and mm-hmm. Rocket Power and Rugrats and Rugrats. Yeah, yeah man. Do you, you ever uh, the, watch the t- the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? You See, I never got into that. Such a good show. Mm-hmm. I love Ninja Turtles. That and Power Rangers. I, I think I've talked Everybody about that before. That Donatello was the black one. Yeah. yeah. I really like. Donatello. Out of all of them, my favorite was Michelangelo. Donatello. Donatello. Why? Why him? The black one. Because he's. It's purple. Purple, purple Frank. <laughs> White people. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just love the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Did you ever watch those movies where they, like... Yes. Secret of the Ooze is my favorite yes, fucking yes, one. dude. Yes. I Are you talking about the live action ones? Yes. Yeah, the I second one. That. I, when that when they're in the that opening thing with the pizza, the guy with the, the pizza delivery dude, they're all yeah, in that toy shop. And he's like, <laughs> and he gets Come jumped at. Come back, <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Babies! <laughs> They're babies! <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> Shredders! Yes. Because I think that was... And, uh, and those... those was that be- dog Bebop. Because like, I think that was supposed to be Bebop and Rocksteady. Rocksteady. Yeah. And they and, they, <laughs> and he or like created them. That. Yeah, he created them. They turned out to be like babies, <laughs> I guess. Babies! <laughs> They're babies! And I love how like Shredder had a bunch of unnecessary like... <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> oh, yeah, like, he, he, he had like that big old mutated form right, at the end. It's so mm. annoying. Shredder. He's I like, remember. Oh, walk the dog. <laughs> with the, with the God, those movies were so fun. Oh, so great. Was it with the yo yo? Yeah. Oh, okay. So funny. <sighs> Damn it, I can't find that. I remember movie. seeing those in Blockbuster all the time. Dude, Secret of the Ooze was the jam. Yeah, That's awesome. That was sweet. And then uh, the first one had Casey Jones in it. Yeah. yeah. Then the third one was just kind of whack because it went back in time. Whack. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they went back in time to like the dude. Samurai that movie era. is from 1991. Secret of the Ooze. Yes. To Chad. That oh, oh and it was an indie, indie film. Remember Vanilla Ice? What? Remember no. Vanilla Ice was in the ninja, 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 ninja. dude. 
go, 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 ninja, go, ninja, go, go, ninja, go, ninja, go. Oh my oh god. god you guys were totally in sync with I, that. I, uh, I've never met anybody who knows. Have you that ever movie. seen a turtle get down? <laughs> Slam and jam it to the news stream sound. Ninja, ninja, <laughs> rat, ninja, ninja, rat. <laughs> it's so funny. And they, they go and they break dance and stuff. Go, go. Oh man. <laughs> oh dude. my god. That was my shit back in the day. Oh my god. How does that only have a 32% of Rotten Tomatoes? Yeah, fuck that. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh if if I was God. in charge of Rotten Tomatoes, I'd give it at least a 35. But Oh, dude. Ugh. You know, Quiet Place got 100 on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. So right. <sighs> I was supposed to be seeing that today. <sighs> what <Yeah>. happened? <laughs> Work. Yeah. We should do a review on that one. Oh, yeah. I like that one. Yeah. John Krasinski's uh, hell of a But he doesn't actor. have Ninja Turtles in it, so it's no. automatically a, a zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> God, see now I just want to watch Secret of the Use. To be yeah, honest. no. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Will you get copyrighted if I play that as well? Yeah. Damn it! I wait, do wait. How long is the? Even if is we it admit that it's years? not our stuff. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, seventy years. Yeah. It's, it's, they gotta die first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Seventy years after that. It's after ridiculous. After they die, seventy years. After yeah, the it's a uh, domain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. I God. think the birthday song just is now just got uh <laughs> It Who wants that right. though? <laughs> like I just play that at the beginning of the podcast. Yeah. Happy birthday! Oh, <laughs> it's a different dude. person each time. <laughs> yep, I just found it. I'm so excited, guys. I think we got to end this podcast so we can listen to the ninja rap. I think so. Yes. Oh, well, man. this well, is good been, stuff. Pretty good little podcast. Yeah, anything man. that you uh, wanted to add, Ethan, before we go? No. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> that. <laughs> It's like we can't go through one podcast. It's the kombucha. <laughs> it's, it's that's turning me inside <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, it smells like booty. All right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. All right, guys. I have I'm fun. Keep moving in, getting it done. I'm officially beginning to have some fun. You know. You better comb your core. All our party. <laughs> We're getting it started, Mr. President. You mind some electric guitar? Washington, D.C. may never be the same. We got Corey, Corey, Corey in the house. Yeah, hey, it's, it's a party every week, week baby. Corey, 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 check it out. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna shake it up and change it. Just a little bit. <laughs> all of you oh, range it. Just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you oh, wait to understand. <laughs> Get up now. You got Corey in. <laughs> do, 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 do. Corey. Corey in, in the, the house. house. I'm the man. The no, movie a, man. The move. I'm the movie man. If you don't know that show, then you're an idiot. <laughs> Just stop listening right now. <laughs> don't really actually do stop listening. <laughs> Bye. See you guys. Bye. Thank you for listening to Movie Man Talks. If you enjoyed this episode, consider subscribing to our channel at Movie Man Productions or like our Facebook page at Movie Man Productions.